Hi, Nutwood. Hi, Nutwood. I see you there. I swear this thing wants just to fall down. Oh, because it's going to have freaking diamonds on the bottom of it. No freaking wonder it wants to keep tipping over. There's a bunch of diamonds. <laughs> Hi, Grimmy! <laughs> Hi, Grimmy! Hi, No One! Hi, Imperfect! Hi, Minty! Hi, Naughty No! <laughs> Hi, Crouchy with Care! Hi, Z Man! <laughs> How are you all? Dang all the dang it and damn it! No one sniped it. No one sniped it. Hi, Brian. How's everybody? How's everybody? How's the week going? Hmm? How's that week going? <laughs> Is the week all right for everyone? We're into Tuesday night. How are we doing? How are we doing today? Let me run this ad real quick. Hold, please. Let's get it out of the way. It's been long so far. I know, Grimmy. I freaking know. It's been a long freaking day. It's been a long freaking day. I'm tired. I'm tired. I was running around all day. Hi, Momo. <laughs> I went to Michael's to pick up some more paper and bling. Let's freaking go, Minty. I also went to Michael's today. I picked up more yarn. Picked up more yarn and I picked up some needles. Um, I got some sewing needles that were heavy duty for those book covers. I'm gonna finish those in the morning so I can send that package tomorrow. And then um, I got some beading needles. I got some beading needles because I'm doing another baphomet. So just in case I wanna add beads, I made sure I had a beading needle that would be a lot better to work with. So that's what I got today. It was nice. I went to Michael's. It's always a good time at Michael's. Hold on. It's like pulling and like making me so off center. Stop. Did I mess it up now? Did I mess it up? Oh, you know what? I could do this. There we go. Is that better? That's better. Um, but yeah, I went to Michael's. It was fun. There we go. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, dropping a lurk as I'm just off for dinner, but we'll be back later. Thank you so much, Aza. Thank you so much for the lurk. Have a great dinner. Have a great dinner. I went to my recliner. I went to my recliner today. Oh, I'm so jelly. I want a recliner. I want a recliner. There's a recliner in Volchi's room, but I don't have room for it. <gasps> Kim! Kim's ready today? Do you know what deck you want, Kim? Or would you like to see the decks? Uh, yeah, Volchi has a, a Lazy Boy recliner, but it's in the other room and there's no room in here for it, unfortunately. <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna pick up a couple sheets. $150 later. <laughs> Worth it. Worth every penny, Minty. Worth every freaking penny, and I'm so excited to see what you're going to make. <laughs> Hi, Momo. Thank you for the lurk. Putting kids to bed. No worries. Mine finally fell asleep, too. So no worries. Thank you for the lurk, Momo. Good luck. Doing good. Redid the toe on my stocking. It looks better. And embroidering the, the initial. <gasps> I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it all done. Let's freaking go. I know you. I do remember you saying you wanted to fix the toe. Should definitely bling the book covers. Imagine, imagine if I bling them out. Wouldn't that be hilarious? That would be absolutely hilarious. Hi, Tia, how are you? Oh my God, hi, perfect timing. I'm at your hands. What happened, Tia? What happened? A Tim Burton one, I got you. What happened, Tia? Ask us your question. We will try to help you buy everything. <laughs> 
on the fourth day of Christmas, Ship Sheep gave to me four beautiful patterns, three sharp needles, two balls of yarn, and a cozy sweater to knit for me. I love it. How are you, Brian? How are you? Lazy boy. I missed it. Doing good. Finally started the bind off for my shawl. 382 stitches. Pretty sure I still got 360 stitches to go. Holy cow! Holy cow! But you're on, you're so close. You're so close. You're so close. I'm so excited for you. Hi, Claire! How are you, Claire? Hi, Josh. Hi. Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. Hi. <laughs> I'm trying to choose yarn for my mom's cardigan for Christmas. She wants fluffy. But I don't want to do a yarn that will fall apart. I feel like... I mean, chunky yarn. Chunky yarn is like soft and it's sort of fluffy and it's definitely durable. Um... I don't know. I'm not as knowledgeable in yarns. Like, I know I've seen some, but I'm not sure. I wonder what day five will be. Same, Brian. Same. How was your day? Oh, you're doing well. You're doing well. I'm glad you're doing well, Brian. How? I glad. I hope. Can't even talk. I'm trying to say all the things at once. I hope you had a wonderful day, Brian. Do I do squishy acrylic blanket or velvet? I would say blanket. I would say blanket. Mm, yeah, I would say blanket. Ooh, Bernay yarn? Or bl Bernay blanket. Bernay blanket. There we go. Currently laying on my sister. She can't hit her head on the floor, bite her hand in anger. I asked her to go potty. So we can go to bed. Oh, I'm so sorry, Claire. I'm so sorry. Hopefully she calms down. Hopefully she'll be all right. I'm so close, but I'm also so bored, but I'm committed now. You're committed. You got to do it. No stopping now. <laughs> Toya, how are you, Toya? How are you? Otherwise, it was a day. Yeah, it's been a long day for me, too. Nothing crazy. It's just a lot. A lot going on. A lot of running around today. I feel that, Claire. Depends on your budget, but you can hold a mohair silk lace yarn, weight yarn with a plain yarn, and that will make it nice and fluffy. Ooh, that sounds really nice. That sounds really, really nice. We've been here 10 minutes already, and she's calm till I say again. Hey, let's go potty, and then we restart. It'll, it'll... <laughs> Maybe you gotta rephrase your question. You gotta rephrase your question, Claire. A bulkal yarn? I've never heard of that. A bulkal yarn? That's interesting. A bulkal yarn. All right, this is for Kim. We're doing a general for Kim. All right. What general situation does Kim need to focus on right now? That came out sideways, so I'm going to turn it up right. What is the problem? with the situation for Kim. What is the problem with the situation? I feel like I wanna pull this one. There's two, cause there's too many. They're all stuck together. I feel like I wanna pull this one at least. And what is the solution to this problem? the solution to this problem for oh I lost it what's the solution for this problem for Kim? this one? Oh my god was that the no it was the other one it was the seven of cups all right I'm gonna put them like this I'm gonna put them like like this so I know it's what let's zoom in we're zooming there we go Boucle. Oh, boucle. That sounds fancy. <laughs> Look at the dog. Boucle. That sounds super fancy. That'd be an annoying fast if it falls apart. Yes. 
Oh yeah, does Joanne's have mohair? Ooh, I gave myself the chills. Arid! Thank you for the lurk, Arid. I hope you had a great day. Thank you for lurking. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. So our, our situation for the moment, I'm gonna put them like this. Um, we have the High Priestess. High Priestess is about inner knowing. It's like, I wanna say following your gut already. Following your gut. Is there a situation that you need to follow your gut on? Like maybe you have some like, indecision but you have like a big gut feeling and you're like ignoring it or you're not sure about it but yeah high, pri high priestess is about your inner knowing your intuition um all that's like within you i'm gonna come back to this but i already feel like it's something about like you needing to follow your gut the problem of why we have the high priestess here, or whatever this this situation is. The problem we we have the star reversed, and the knight of wands that was right behind it. Um, the star in general means like hopes and dreams, hopes and dreams, and healing. Also healing, lots of healing. But we have this in reverse. Yeah, it's like definitely with like. Is it like not following your heart a little bit as well? And then it came out with the Knight of Wands. Oh, Pete, Pete. <gasps> we got three whole hands, Pete, three whole hands. Is it two of mine and one of yours? Or one of mine and two of yours? <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Thank you for the resub. How are you? How are you doing? How was your day? Hi, Beck. Hello, Beck. Probably. Oh, no, Kim. Um, all right, let's see. Hi, Beck. All right, let's see. Um, the Knight of Wands is about moving, moving toward a new passion or desire. Which is interesting that it came with the hopes and dreams in the reverse i'm telling you this is like something you know, some it's something that you really want to do maybe it's it's it was a new thing and there's like you wanting you starting to move forward on this new passion of yours, some new passion or desire that you're start that you made the idea, you you figured out a plan, and now you're moving forward with it. But it's like letting go of your hopes and dreams. No, I feel like because this is charging towards the hope and dreams, I feel like this is going to re relight that fire or something. Maybe something that was something that you wanted to do is coming back. I don't know why I want to say that. Maybe the first time around you didn't you didn't go with it. You didn't trust yourself with it. So I feel like this time around, you're like second guessing it again. Whatever this is, I feel like it's like you're supposed to trust your gut and go with it this time around. Whatever this passion or desire is, this is what you need to go with. Because it was something that you maybe had like a big dream about, like not actual dreams, but like it was a dream of yours. And I want to say it's like coming back. Or it keeps trying to get your attention. It keeps like popping in like, like you forget about it because you maybe feel like it's not something for you or it's not for you or it's not something that's going to um, 
work out for you, but it keeps coming back. And it's telling you to just trust your gut and go with it. The solution here is the Four of Cups. So there's a lot of emotions, I feel like, because there's a lot of water in this card, as well as, like I said, with this, with your inner, like, knowing and feelings and stuff. Um, but the solution is the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is usually like a boredom card to me. I just want to say, like, stop ignoring whatever this is. This is like you right here. And you're looking at everything that you have and you're not happy. You're not happy because you're not living this dream of like whatever this passion is. It's like there and it keeps coming back. It keeps coming back. So stop ignoring it. It's like a missed opportunity that just keeps like returning. It's like something you're meant to do or something that's like for you specifically. Cause I just keep seeing this one like charging in. He's not the fastest knight, he's the second fastest knight. So that's why I'm feeling like this like, trying to like get to you like there's a bit of an urgency but yeah it's like some sort of missed opportunity that just is coming back that you feel like you don't deserve and you need to trust your gut and go with it and stop stop feeling like it's not for you because it is and you know it is so stop fighting it. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Let me see. Can I do a couple of these? I want to do a couple of these. It's definitely making sense to me. Oh, they really make sense? I hope so. Yeah, it's like loud and clear that like, it's just something that's like, like I said, like you're either ignoring it or you just like, you are you keep putting it off because you feel like you don't deserve it. But you do. This is also a major arcana. Like, you do. This has been, like, owed to you, I feel like. For a long time. With this major arcana of the High Priestess. Like, it's been something that, like, you've had, like, around for a long time. And it's just come and gone, I feel like. And it's finally coming in again. And it's like, you need to take this opportunity this time around. Stop trying to, like, continue to push it away because it's... Find middle ground. I'm gonna do another one. Oh. Open your heart to new beginnings. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Open your heart to new beginnings. Stop trying to like fight this. Whatever it is, it's for you. Let's see if I can get one more. Is there one more for Kim? Now, oh, there's two more. Oh, that one's the... <laughs> yes is the answer to your question. I don't know. I want something more specific. I'll do one of these actually. We'll do an angel number. This is the, oh, how do you say it? How do you say it? <laughs> how do you say it again? Where did it go? I lost it. <laughs> 
Oh, it's hiding. I can't see how to say it. Oh, this one right here, number 13. <laughs> you are a conscientious, conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily toward your goals. I am confident. Ah, this goes with that second guessing. That second guessing. I am confident. Be confident in your decision on how you move forward with whatever this is. There you go, Kim. I hope this helps in some way or another. Thank you for letting me read for you. Hi, Rabbit. How are you? Boo Clay. Thank you. <laughs> Boo Clay. Boo Clay. I want to see it. Hold on. I want to see what this Boo Clay looks like. This is definitely making sense. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I hope it helps. It's a really interesting reading. Really, really interesting that it like ties back in the end of it. But thank you for letting me read for you. Cutting cords with Kim. Cutting cords with Kim. You can have it all back. You can have your energy back. <laughs> Take it back. I don't want it. <laughs> hey, y'all, no wood! Eight months, no wood! Eight months! Octopus, good try. I wish it did work. I wish it did work. Thank you, Noah. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the resub for eight months. I'll take the end. Yes, take it all back. I don't want it. <laughs> Let me click this link. Let me click this link. Oh, please. Oh, ooh, that would be really soft. That would be super, super soft and fuzzy without being like super messy too, I think. Interesting. I don't know if I've seen something, I've seen this exactly, but I've seen stuff similar to it. Boo Clay. <laughs> Gonna go watch some Goosebumps. Thank you for the lurk, Kim. Have a good one. I will see you later. Codex, hello Codex. Thank you, Rabbit. Uh, exclamation point mm, mansion. Is it mansion? Exclamation point mansion will bring the the link, I think. <laughs> is it mansion? No, it's not mansion. What is it? Was it not? <laughs> I don't remember my links. <laughs> Rabbit's got it. Rabbit's got it. <laughs> There's the link there. There's the link. It's one of my, it's honestly, I would say it's my all time favorite. I saw it and I was like, that's the deck that I need in my life. If I were, that is like my, it's okay, Grimmy, I do the same thing. Lucky rabbit, put it all, let's go. <laughs> um, but yeah, when I saw it, I was like, this deck, I need it. I need it now. I didn't get it right away. I had to save up for it, but I absolutely love it. It's my all time favorite deck and I'm happy that I can use it now. Oh, shoot. Did I miss your affirmation? I hate that much. That sound alert. I see you. Inner wisdom. That sound alert doesn't, it rarely ever works and I don't know why. Where's my inner wisdom? There it is. It's hiding. I got you. <laughs> How are you, rabbit? How was your day? Ah, there it is. I see it my first one I better get busy wait what's your first one what am I missing <laughs> what I missed too much okay catching up she's listening now just to get her to bed without another incident good luck Claire good luck good luck good luck How are you, Codex? How you doing? <laughs> oh <my>. Chewy. <laughs> Chewy. <laughs> Steppies for Chewy. Steppies for Chewy.
chewy. <laughs> I'm very sleepy, but I'm good. I'm glad you're doing well. I'm glad you're doing well. Was it loud for you? It was loud, but not like as loud as it could be. Is it like reversed? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me catch up here. My first, oh, you're stocking. I have another one to make after. Oh, so you're making a set. <gasps> Let's freaking go. I hope you, I hope the other one also goes just as smoothly. And that'll be nice that you, that you, um, since you switched up the toe, you'll be able to um, already fix that when you start the other one. My day was good overall. I'm glad you had a great day. I'm glad you had a great day. Mine was really long. So I'm glad yours was really good. Wait, what? My ears are still ringing from that sound? Did it flip? Hold on. Is it my browser? No, it's gonna be in my browser sources. Oh! <laughs> today. Thank you for the biddies. I got my books, Kala. Thank you for the lurk, note wood. I gotta turn this off. There's like things going on. You started a hype train. <laughs> I don't know where my sound is. I'm gonna have to test it in a minute. I'll test it in a minute. Hype <laughs> train lurk. Thank you, Aaron. Oh, all right, this is for Grimmy. How are you, Kala? Kala, how are you doing? Hold on, I gotta fix that alert, that sound alert too. But let me get this for Grimmy first. This is for Grimmy. Grimmy. Which one for this one? Courage. It is time to speak out with love. Connect with your heart to transmit your feelings and opinions to others. Have courage. Ooh, this is a crazy time for communication right now, too. This is a crazy time for communication. Have courage, Grimmy. Grimmy, is this what I think it is? <laughs> is this what I think it is, Grimmy? Is this what I think it is? <laughs> Some communication that may need to be had? Come on, camera. Camera. There we go. Is this about something? Kind of seems like it though. It kind of does. It kind of does. <laughs> Question, I want to make a craft sewing thing. If I send a photo, will you help me make a pattern? What kind of sewing thing? Kalakimatra says I am actually on a date at my house and we just put up and decorated my Christmas tree and I was talking about ornaments and I want your help to make one. You're on a date? <laughs> That's all I heard. You're on a date. <laughs> hey, yo, Kelly. Hey, yo. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to embarrass you. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> uh, I guess what kind of ornament? <laughs> Send me a picture of it and I'll look at it. Send me a picture of it and I'll look at it. But also, get it. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't want to distract you. But send me, send me a picture and I'll look at it later. I'll look at it later. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Your birthday was yesterday, Codex. Happy freaking belated birthday. What did you do? Did you have any, did you do anything? Did you do anything for your birthday? Or do you have something coming up this weekend? How was it? How was your day? Spells! I see you, Spells. I know what you're doing right now. I see you working on them Pokemons. I see you working on the Pokemons. Hold on, let me actually, oh yeah, I see it. The sound is okay on this, okay. This is a different sound. I had a long stream and I got to open a gift from Kels on stream. <gasps> what was it? I was lurking on you and maybe I didn't even realize. Although then again, these last couple days have been really, really busy for me. 
Oh, it's my dog. <laughs> These last couple days have been really, really busy, to be quite fair. So, like, I, I tabbed up friends, and I kind of hung out a little bit here and there, but I wasn't, like, committed. <laughs> I wasn't committed. I didn't realize. I hope it was an amazing birthday. I'm doing this backwards. It goes this way. I hope it was amazing. Hold on. I'll get you right now. Let me just start this real quick. Hold on. That's one, two, three, four. It was a crocheted bat. <gasps> that was for you? That was for you? I was watching her make it and I was like, um, Link, Link, please. <laughs> So I had goat horns and ears and a pentagram. I know exactly what it is. I saved the pattern. How freaking adorable. I think she might have said it was for you, but I didn't realize it was for your birthday. Thank you so much for the hype train, everyone. <laughs> oh, wild, Daniel. <laughs> All right, I got to do this. Hold, please. <clears throat> Happy, happy birthday, another year for you. We wish it was our birthday so we could party too. Hey, let's freaking go, Codex. Happy birthday. There's a picture of me and show in her show and Kel Discord channel. Oh, I have to go look. I'll have to go look. No, wait a minute. I was there. I saw it this morning. <laughs> I was lurking. I was lurking. I saw it this morning. It looks so cute. It looks so cute. I know exactly what the picture looks like. You were like turned this way and you had it like, you had it on. It was so super adorable. I, didn't, I did not put three and three together. <laughs> I did not put three and three to together. Co Happy freaking birthday, Codex. I love that. I love that. You know how I love Baphomets here. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Thank you so much. This isn't exactly what I'm doing. This is kind of for reference. I'm making a Baphomet that's similar to this, but I'm not going to have the nipple horns or the nipple mushroom horns. <laughs> going to change it up a little bit. You know, I cried on camera. I missed it. I'm so bummed. But I'm glad you had an amazing day. And that's such a beautiful gift. Especially from Kels. Kels is amazing. Kills is absolutely amazing. How are you, Sam? How are you doing? All right, let me see what's next. I have my book over here. I'm, I'm ready for my book. This one is slightly different from my other Baphomet. This pattern's a little more elongated. And I didn't mean to, but now that I'm kind of in it, I'm like, well, I guess I might as well. There was a reason to, wait, wait. Two till eight. Okay. I was like, you know what? If this was the mistake I made, there's a reason for everything. So I was like, I'll just go with it. I'll just go with it. So we're doing the elongated, wait, elongated one this time, which I think kind of works out because when you look at mushrooms, they have that like long stem and it kind of looks like that a little bit with like feet and legs, but... <laughs> And arms, but um, it has the more elongated body. So I figure this actually might be more perfect. I also restarted this last time. I started it in this um, in this brown, and I think I I decided I want to do the white because they're more white. But I want to use the um, the acrylic um, pastels or whatever pastels they are, and like do some like shading on it and the white's gonna have that show up really well also this would be done but i can't find my safety eyes anywhere so i ordered more and it won't be here till thursday so i have the head done and i have the nose done although it looks like a duck <laughs> it looks like a duck but i'm working on the body today hi meals how are you kel's on is like one of my best friends that is so sweet. That is so sweet. I, like I said, I adore Kels. I'm literally always there, like, in the shadows. 
and it's just so like she's so cozy one two three four okay she's such a cozy person like if cozy was a thing was an actual person it would be her i don't know why i put that in i'm already on the end <laughs> How are you, Meals? How are you doing? How are you doing, Meals? How was your day? Tell me why I can't get a nice copy of the Fourth Wing Holiday Edition. I've gotten three and two are acceptable and one is a total throwaway and looked like someone drop kicked it. <laughs> I've never had such an issue with getting a book to look decent. Even one with sprayed edges. I heard there was so many issues with them, Claire. I was watching TikToks and there was somebody who was in book publishing and was like, this is what probably what happened. Um, they probably, someone submitted the wrong like stuff. And then it was to different publishing companies because when it's such a like big scale book being made, one company can't handle all those books like itself so usually you send it to different places so for the most part they were like yeah they someone probably dropped the ball and sent the wrong things the wrong things to print but also there was like a couple things too where they just like had no idea like um how that all how some of that stuff could have happened but they were saying like they should own up to it and like explain what went on otherwise you know no one's gonna trust them essentially as far as the publishing companies go i heard um i don't know if you've been to costco i don't know if costco would have anything left funny enough i just got an edition of fourth wing on my Libby app it finally became available so I gotta hurry up and finish um neon gods I think I have like a hundred pages left oops hold on I have a school message Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Give me one second. Three words for you. Thank you. Well then, I just gotta make sure because it's for tomorrow. Um, so they had a my kids had a fundraiser at school. My kids had a big fundraiser at school, a couple like last month in October, and somehow I guess they they earned a party bus to go somewhere to eat. <laughs> so. I got the permission slip on Friday and, or no, it was on Monday. And um, what's today? Today's Tuesday. I got it on Friday then. I got it on Friday and it was like, um, I allowed my child to go off campus or whatever for the, for whatnot. 
And um, so my oldest is supposed to go to Peter Piper's Pizza, and my youngest is supposed to go to Chick-fil-A, but in like this party bus. <laughs> And so that they were asking if that they didn't have her permission slip, but the PTA lady I talked to on Sunday said it was okay to put both their names on there and that they were good to go. But I guess this PTA person is on a different page or they're on different pages because she's asking that she didn't have my the permission slip for my youngest. So I was just making sure that she knew that I did so that that way she knows, but if I need to fill out another one, let me know because they're going tomorrow. <laughs> They couldn't tell me today, they, so they're telling me for tomorrow. <laughs> so it's for tomorrow. <laughs> so if they message, I gotta put it over here so I see it. Oh, I was looking to see how many pages I had left. Um, I'm on page 280, 228 of 380. Okay, so more than 100 pages left. I have more than 100 pages left, but I'm, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So yeah, I gotta finish that one. I have the second one already. And then I, I just got fourth wing. So I wanna I wanna try and hurry up and read so I can catch up. Hi, wholesome! Hi, wholesome! How are you, wholesome? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing, wholesome? What you doing? Madam Juniper, how are you? Yes, I'm gonna do a mushroom baphomet. Not this one. This is just kind of reference. Some passengers are threatening to <gasps> because of the heat. Heat, heat seeking moisture <laughs> missile. <laughs> hi, he, hi, he, hi. What are you doing? I just finished fourth wing. It was really good. I have mixed reviews. I'm finally reading it because I've given in from like the hype, and I'm I'm curious to know what it's about. I'm curious what all the hype is about. So. I want to read it. Sorry, I keep feeling like I keep getting off center. Um, so I want to read it to see what all the hype is about. Wholesome, I was seeing you playing Baldur's Gate today. Was this this morning? You are playing Baldur's Gate? I couldn't watch because I didn't want spoilers. Oh, the chocolate! Thank you! <laughs> Can't forget the chocolate. Thank you so much, Madam Juniper! How are you? How is everything going? I was lurking in on you. You were up late the other night. You were up late. Oh, I think you're Pacific time, no? I'm returning two of them, but I want a nice copy. It was so bad. I was that some people were saying it was bad writing to, so oh, the second one. My first copy was from Costco because I pre-ordered it on Amazon. It didn't show up till last week. So I decided release week to go to Costco. Oh, okay. Is that the one that's the good one? I ordered six more DAC kits <gasps> and one from Enablers Outpost. <gasps> you gotta share. You gotta share which ones you got, Meals. When they come in, take a picture and post it. I want to see. I want to see all the ones that you picked up. They had a big restock today, too. They had like 30, 30 paintings restocked today. 100 pages of my spells. Yeah, I got, I got 100, over 100 pages left. I got to sit and read it. I try to read it at night before bed, at least one chapter. But I, I like fall asleep halfway through. <laughs> I like heat now. <laughs> heat with the switch. It's me with the book. All the kids' forms and stuffs are on the website, but each child is sep is a separate tab. Ah, yeah, they didn't tell me that. She was just like, "Oh yeah, you could put both of their names on there, and that should be totally fine." Because I only had one slip. I didn't even realize my youngest could go because I was like, "Oh, my oldest only got it. It was only for her thing." And on the slip. It says first, second grade, and fifth grade. So I was like, I was like, wait, so my youngest can go? And she was like, yeah, she's good to go. She's going to go the day before. And they're going to Chick-fil-A, not Peter Piper. And I was like, okay, well, I only got the one slip, so what do I do? And she's like, oh, you can just sign your sign for both of them and um, just put her name on there and what grade and her teacher. And I was like, okay. So I had my eldest turn it in and... Um, 
yeah. So hopefully they message me back. So I'm gonna keep going. Oh, there it is, hold on. Sounds good. All right, she said it's good. She says it's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll probably message her teacher in the morning just to like let her teacher know, like just letting you know I talked to the PTA and I sent in a slip with my with her sister for her to go today. So I'll probably I'll probably send that in the morning just to make sure. You're not gonna play it. Don't lie. Wholesome. It was gifted to me. It was gifted to me, Wholesome. I just haven't started it yet because I'm stuck on some other stuff right now. So I'm waiting till I have time to like play it. <laughs> it's also been freaking busy, so I haven't really had time to do anything I want to do. I'm doing well. I'm glad you're doing well. I'm glad you're doing well. How was your day, He? What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Are you knitting? Are you knitting your your um the blue one the the tits? Are you are you knitting with tits? <laughs> Thank you, girl. <laughs> I'm always up late. Normally don't go to bed until two to three. Oh, you're east. Oh, you were up really late that day then, because it was late for me. <laughs> what is that? I just don't normally stream that late. Yeah, you were up really late that day, because I went to bed and it was late for me. Fourth wing is okay. Thank you for the hydrate pasta. Correct Hi, your pasta. posture. Thank you. Hi, pasta. Fourth thing was okay. The last battle in the ending is what aced the book. It definitely does fill all the tropes. Save the book. I can't wait to read it. I don't think I know much about... I think I only know, okay, I do know a little bit. I know it's about dragon riders and something about a girl being a dragon rider. That's all I think I know about it. <laughs> That's all I know about it. The first one was Costco. The one is, that one is good. The second one is the dropkick one. <laughs> and the third one is decent so far, aside from discoloration on the dust cover. Man, Claire. Yeah, I heard all of them were like janky. Oh, excuse me. Forgot to tell you, my oldest finally got her learner. Let's freaking go, Minty! How are you? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> are you okay, Minty? <laughs> That's a big step, yo. I know, right? Learners for bit hype. <laughs> oh man, I remember when I had my learners for me. <laughs> my mom took us out. She always had minivans. When we grew up, we always had a minivan. And um, so we went to my middle school parking lot. And uh, it's, you know, a basic parking lot. And it has this like fence around it, right? <laughs> and so I'm driving and I'm practicing. And. Um, at some point, I got confused and I thought my foot was on the gas, but it was on the brake. So I moved it to the gas to brake <laughs> and it took off into the chain link fence <laughs> and it scraped up the front of my mom's van. <laughs> And I was like, oh, and she's like, it's okay, just back up. So I backed the car up, the fence went back, <laughs> scraped up the whole front of the car. And I was like, I'm done, I don't want to drive anymore. <laughs> and so I switched, and she drove <laughs> That was my, uh... <laughs> that was my driving. But... My brother was actually a really good driver. He was actually really good. So, 
I don't mean to scare you, Minty. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You might have a good one. You might have a good one. My brother was a good one. Uh, later on, he crashed into three different poles that when um, there was nothing else around. <laughs> that was after his learner's permit and everything, though. <laughs> oh, man. Knit the tits! Knit the tits! <laughs> what game? Wait, oh, uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Did you see my make? No, what? What? Wholesome. What? Wholesome. Wholesome? Where are you? Wholesome. What did you do? What do you mean make or stream? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking? Don't you dare leave your chat. What are you talking about? What make or stream? Did you do a craft stream? Did you do a craft stream and not tell me? Wholesome. I was just making a tabletop map. In a game? <laughs> About to chuck this computer. Wholesome. In a game? You're... In a game? Like tabletop simulator game kind of thing. <laughs> you need to be specific. <laughs> You're doing this on purpose, kinda. Okay, not an IRL with hands, right? That's what I'm saying. I'm getting at. Not IRL with hands. Hi, Zakayla. <laughs> Sorry, I'm yelling at people in chat at the moment. Hi, Zakayla. <laughs> There was no hands involved, were there? There were no hands involved. I am a maker. Hey, look at that. <laughs> the main character is very thirsty. Oh, it's just going to show who I am then, Z-Man. <laughs> it's just going to be me reading about me. <laughs> I just finished knitting day five of the advent. Now I'm going to go make dinner, and then I'm probably going to knit the tit. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Duo had an amazing pick. This is actually facts. This is actually facts. I feel like I'm gonna pe pass out. Oh god, no. <laughs> this thing me feel better. I'm sorry, Minty. My worry is I, it started snowing, so I might- No, you should definitely wait till spring. You should definitely wait till spring. Although, to be quite honest, if they can learn to drive in snow, they can drive in anything. <laughs> but, just know that there might be a lot more to worry about teaching them in snow <laughs> gotta decide if i'm okay with the discoloration because it's on the side of the cover and just accept a perfect copy is a unicorn yeah claire unless they make more and they fix their mistakes which who knows if they're actually gonna do that i don't know yeah i i think you'd have to decide now like which one you're gonna keep She, he did! <laughs> he did! No hands, I didn't have IRL friends for that. Hey! What do you mean? What do you mean? Alright, hold on. This is for Zakayla. <clears throat> I'm so sad. Look how much is left of my book. This is all that's left. I'm so sad. Um... <laughs> Rosa Parks refused to get out of her seat because she was saving it for Chuck Norris. <laughs> I can't with this book. <laughs> there he goes, Michaela. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I saw your new start today. I saw your new start, Michaela. Did I miss your first message? Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? I'm so fucking tired. I just turned it. <gasps> you turned in your final! Gee, freaking cheese pasta! I'm sending all the good vibes that you get the good grade and everything goes great. I'm sending all the good vibes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to look. 
book. I'm gonna have to look and see if I can find another really good Chuck Norris book. I've had this one for forever, so maybe we'll get lucky and they'll have made another one, but I'd have to look. I'll look for, to I'll look tomorrow or something. Can I get a remind? Can someone remind me to look for another Chuck Norris book? I'll take a peek. Silence means yes. I know! <laughs> Loki needed someone to massage my hands. Hey, yo! Same? <laughs> Same? <laughs> Who will do it? Who will do it? <laughs> Wholesome teasing. I know. Wholesome's a big tease. He likes the attention. That's why. He's a Leo. <laughs> I posted a picture of the super damaged book. Oh, okay, I'll have to look. Just return the Costco copy to Amazon or vice versa, depending which one was cheaper. Amazon returns are free. Amazon returns are free. I mean, I guess Costco was free too. I guess whatever's more convenient for you. Cause when you return to Amazon, you have to take it to a UPS store. Um. <clears throat> I don't think you have to package it. You might have to, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you gotta take it to, a, you, you have to print out the receipt and that of the refund and then take it to a UPS store. So it might be easier to just return it at Costco, honestly. But as soon as you like turn it into UPS, you get your money back like instantly. I already know I have two C's. But I made it alive and I don't care! You did make it out alive. You did make it out alive. So congrats to that. Congrats to that. Hey, C's are still passing. <laughs> Later on when you're like out of out of all of that, they're not gonna care what grades you have. Just, just as long as you got the diploma. No one cares. Or the certificate or, or the, the master degree, whatever. That's all they're gonna care about. They're not gonna know you got a C to earn it. <laughs> OMG, such a Leo! Such a Leo. Welcome back, AZ. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I return shit all the time, but I gotta save the like to. Yeah, no, definitely. Totally. Totally, Claire. You can take Amazon returns to Kohl's. Oh, Kohl's does it too? I didn't realize that. To be fair, my UPS is like next to me compared to Kohl's. So maybe that's why I never noticed. Hi, Kristen! I hope you're doing well, Kristen! Amazon will let you know if you have to box. Oh, it'll let you know. Okay, good to know to that too. C's get degrees. C's got degrees. <laughs> Aaron said it too. Hi, Aaron. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's been a long day. It's been a long freaking time of my life. That's what it's been. Hold on. Let me pre let me pretend to know what I'm doing. Two in each again. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just been, a, it's been a long day. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little delusional at this point. I think I'm just delusional more than anything else. How are you, Erin? How was your day? How was your day? It's nice to see you again. I had an anxiety call with my mom and she said the same thing. Three more semesters and I get my bachelor's and never have to write another essay again. Let's freaking go. It's so true. It's so true, though. You're, it's almost here. It's almost here. Three more semesters? You've got this. You freaking got it. Some Kohl's, but UPS is a three-minute drive versus, like, 20. And UPS, sometimes you do have to package it. Kohl's, you never have to. Oh, Kohl's, you never have to? Okay, that's good to know, too. That's good to know, too. Fortunately, my degree is in writing, so it's three more semesters of essays! I hate that for you. I hate that for you. I hated writing essays. I was not a writer. Was I mean, yes, I did everything okay, all right? I did everything okay. I wasn't the best, and I wasn't the worst. I was just your average student. <laughs> Your average student that just did what they were supposed to do. That's who I was. So like, yes, I could write, but I hated doing it. 
Yes, I could, you know, do science nonsense. I didn't like it. <laughs> yes, I could study about history. I hated history. <laughs> What did I like, you ask? What did I like? I liked my art class. <laughs> I liked um, my color guard class because I got to make that a class <laughs> as an elective. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Everything else, it was just because I had to do it. I had no choice. <laughs> no choice. I didn't mind English. Okay, I didn't mind English so much because we did get to read some cool stuff once in a while, but then they made you write and that just made it so much worse. Work was slow, which that was good, but I'm tired. You know what? As much as like slow days at work, like sound nice, I always felt like they, like all my, my like tiredness would hit just because there was nothing else going on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, freaking give. <laughs> Calculating. Um, yeah, I would be way more over the day because all that exhaustion or whatever would like hit because nothing, there's like nothing to do. So I feel that. What if you're an English major? <laughs> Oh my god, jokes on you know what I am! <laughs> I gotta flip through tomorrow and decide what I want to do. I hate that I decided I wanted to collect books. I did that once, Claire. I did used to buy books, um, but a lot of them I got off of um, Book Outlet. A lot of them I got off there because they're very, very cheap discounted books. Usually they're the books that were damaged at the stores or they have like little markings here and there or some like little inconsistencies, but they're all, they were always really nice books. One of them I got was actually a signed book that I got from the author um, and it was super discounted. So I really liked um, Book Outlet a lot and I used to buy a lot of books through there. Um, but now I ran out of space and I do have to go through my books again because there are some that I'm still carrying around that I don't care for. Um, case in point that dis a Discovery of Witches series, like I'm not going to read that. So like that's something I can get rid of. Um, and there's books in there that I haven't even read yet. But a lot of them are like YA or um, New Adult. So I'm like not wanting to read them because I know they're not going to have smut. <laughs> so I'm not like interested in reading them. <laughs> <gasps> Mother of birds! How was your stream? How was your stream? I saw you playing a game today. Were you doing your... Yeah! You were working on the um, Roots of Pacha. How did it go? How was your stream? How was your stream? Hello. Uh, Milky. I was like, it's not Mickey. That's Milky. Hi, Milky Sweet. Welcome in. <laughs> Minty? No, no, thank you. Well, do you have a deck in mind, Minty? Do you have a deck in mind or would you like to see them? How was your stream? It was very fun. Made so much progress. Let's freaking go. I assume that you're like loving this game because I've seen you play it a lot. <laughs> it looks adorable though. The dark one. Got you. It looks freaking adorable. Welcome in Raiders. Hello. I'm Ariana. You can call me Ari. Black Sheep. Sheepy. I'm a variety streamer. I mostly do crafts. All kinds of crafts. Sometimes I play games that are cozy or spoopy. But mostly you can expect chaos, sled noises, dance parties, jump scares, degeneracy, and enablement. And once in a while we do tarot. Because <laughs> I have a redeem. So welcome in everyone. If you do not follow Mother of Birds, so much of a fun personality. Does play games, does a little bit of crafting too. So highly recommend you go drop that follow. Well deserved, well deserved follow. Um, I'm working on a Baphomet, a new Baphomet today. It's gonna be mushroom theme, but it's not this one. This is just for like reference. 
Um, but I am working on a Baphomet. I'm working on the body at the moment. There's an ad about to start, so I'm gonna wait for this ad to go. Are you staying, Minty? Hold on, where are you? Yeah, you're gonna be here, Minty, so I'll do your reading right now anyways. Um, but I do have the head and the nose mouth area already, but I don't know where my safety eyes are, so I ordered more. <laughs> They won't be here till Thursday. So I'm just going to make all the body parts for now. But that's what I'm working on. That's what I'm working on today. <laughs> I got ahead today. <laughs> it's such a good game. There's so much to do. It's a little overwhelming, overwhelming, but it's definitely worth a playthrough. I think I put it on my wish list. I'm pretty sure I did because it looked adorable. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to check out that game because I pop in and I see you playing from time to time. But if you have to do after stream stuff, don't let me stop you. We're just, we're just chatting. <laughs> you know me, we're just chatting. But I really appreciate the raid. Thank you so much. Thank you for bringing the friends. I'm trying to create a Loch Ness. Wait, wait, where'd it go? A Loch Ness monster cryptid, but I think I'm gonna have to frog it a bit. It's not the right shape. <gasps> Make sure you post a picture when you get it. I would love to see that. Nessie is one of my favorite cryptids. Nessie is one of my favorite cryptids, so I need to see this when you get it down. That sounds amazing. Yes, I love that. I love it. Did I miss anything before? I'm adding a communication minor, but everything for spring is, is for writing. That's crazy, Pasta. It's a lot, but you've got it. I appreciate my slow days because we have two slow days a week, and that's it. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Fuck math. I'm so glad I don't have another math class ever. Same pasta. <laughs> but we know this. We know this. 100% for normal books, but I know the ad just started. 100% um, for normal books, but sprayed edge books, I tend to try and get firsthand from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, cost. Yeah, totally. I totally would do the same probably too, Claire. That makes total sense to do that because they would get really banged up and scratched up. All right, I think I caught up. <clears throat> Need to head off to bed, but how I'm gonna wait for the ad. I don't know, I don't know if she hears, or if they hear me. All right, this is for Minty. We'll get some cards while we're waiting for this ad to go. All right, so we have a general for Minty. What is this general situation? This one that Minty needs to... Judgment again in reverse... Oh, no. The other one was... Yeah, it was Judgment. This is what um, Naughty Gnome got the other day. In the same predicament. What is the... Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna keep this one on top. But this all goes back. It's our problem. Is this something to do with romance? What is the solution to this general situation for Minty Pie? What is the solution? This one. This has to be relationship. <laughs> this has to be relationship. Are we back? Thank you so much, Mother of Birds. Have a wonderful sleep. Count all the sheep. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But get some rest and I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Technically, I have five classes because no one is writing. Is a writing lab? Pray for me. I tell you, I'm sending you all the vibes. All the vibes. Pasta. I hope everything goes great. Good night. All right, Minty, let's see. This has to be something with like romance and family. Something about romance and family. There's a lot of like, like I said, there's the couple here. This is the dick card. <laughs> and this is, um, you know, it represents a whole family. This is generational wealth. So the situation, you have judgment, judgment in the reverse. Um, this is like, sorry, I'm just thinking. Um, so judgment in general, of course, is being called to do something that you're meant to do, being called to do something. 
Um, but you have it in the reverse. So it would be like resisting. Sometimes I always see this as like gossip and stuff as well when it's like family related or friends related because of like so many people. Um, I don't know. This is it. All I'm really getting like big shout outs of like family. Something about family. Something about family. Like I said, it, oh, maybe gossiping, maybe like some sort of like dilemma in the family. Some sort of get together that might be happening too, looking at the imagery. But like I said, because this card has usually a lot of people that are like being called to a certain thing. Um, in the reverse, I always think it's like nonconformity, nonconformity, not like resisting, um, resisting to follow the crowd. Keep thinking of like a party i know it's like so obvious because of the imagery but like the the party aspect of this is really standing out to me so i don't know if it's like because of the holidays coming up there may be like a certain situation with like families and like going to someone's house but like you don't want to go you'd rather do something else this year or there's something that like you've you've decided you don't want to do the natural way of like traditions maybe and you're trying to like pave a new path for the holidays or something with the family. That's what it feels like. And like the family is, may not be happy with that decision or maybe they don't know yet and that's your plan. See, it's like a new, a new thing, a new, um, this is like a new creative idea normally right? This is a new creative idea. This is um, something that's like sparked your interest of like curiosity. So I'm wondering, like I said, it's like you want to do like a new way of like celebrating or a new way of like a new tradition that maybe the family may not like or you told the family this and they don't like it. Whether that be your immediate family or your like distant family that you may see during this time of year or whatever it's giving like like i said those the holidays it's the holidays really popping in in here um that's the problem is that you have this new creative idea that you want to do and either the family is against it or it's, it's because it's so different or it's not usually what the the way of doing things that you're like going against the rest of the family with it a little bit. And I don't know if you're like unsure of that or, um, or you don't like, not that you don't care, but just like, it's something that you wanna do and you're determined to do it. This is almost in the sense of what, how I read for Naughty Gnome as well the other day. It was like the same general kind of topic, but in something else, but it had that same vibe of like, a little bit of angstiness, a little bit of like um, fighting against important people in your life or people that mean a lot to you. Um, the solution here is you have Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is generational wealth. Um, this is the old man who has worked so hard in his life and has you know, he has the family now. He has his grandkids. He has the dog. He has, you know, his his sons and daughters with him. Thank you for the candy, Jim. How are you? Ah, there's Naughty Gnome. <laughs> um, but funny enough, though, like, I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you living in your 
your true like moment for like this like no matter what you're gonna have your your you're gonna have this what do you call it it's almost like a happily ever after that's usually the ten of cups um I feel like with the pentacles, it's more about you're going to have that time. You're going to have, you know, I mean, maybe finances. You'll be saving finances. I don't know if you were planning to like travel or when you see the family, it's like a big event or something. And you're like, you know, buying presents. I'm telling you, this feels like Christmas. <laughs> this feels like Christmas, like traditions and family and that like dilemma of like trying to go see all the family. So I feel like maybe... You'll be saving money or money will be well spent <clears throat> to have like what you want, which family you want with you. You're going to be happy, but you're going to be saving that time, that energy, those finances, whatever materialistic things this will represent for you. I just feel like you're going to have it. And you're gonna be happy. I don't feel like this is a regret card whatsoever. This is like you put in the work and you've, you've worked hard and you know, you harvested your goods and stuff and now it's time for you to like enjoy your wealth. It sounds about right. I really want to head down to visit this year. Yeah, that's what it feels like. It's if you don't like say if that's the normal thing you do and you don't, it's like you going against like what you normally do. But I think you're going to be happy with whatever you decide. If this is you just staying home, like this gives a big like sense of home, home and family. Because usually in this card, you'll see the home in the background. You'll see the home that you worked so hard for. So if you decide to stay home, I feel like you're going to have that happy ending either way. Or if you decide to go with family, you'll have the happy ending either way. But I think maybe you're just having a little bit of that, like, like I said, you're feeling like um, this judgment is going to be coming in as far as like, it's like going against the grain, going against, you know, what everybody wants. And maybe you have a little apprehension about that. But this new idea, this new creative idea that you're like wanting to do and like it's just not what they may want and maybe that's why. Jinsen. J is it Jin? Jin, hello, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Let me know if I'm saying that correctly. But welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I am actually uh, making Ammies today. I'm making an Ammy today, but we're, I have a redeem for tarot readings, so that's why we're doing a reading. I'm doing great. How are you? It's been a long day, but I'm doing real good. Um, but yeah, that's what it feels. I'm telling you, it's just a lot of like big family and like maybe you're you're you're, you're just um, anxious about the judgment you may get for not. Partici like I said, it's like a celebration. It's a big celebration. So it's like, it's that judgment of not going, of not being there and doing the normal, typical holiday stuff. Let me see, let's do, let's do a number Two, since you're being a little angsty, let's choose the angstier ones. Cute. I haven't tried Emmys yet. They're pretty fun. I'm I'm more um, new to them myself. Um, I knew very basic crochet for a long time, and I tried Emmys a while back, and I wasn't vibing with it. But more recently, I've gotten really into it. So I've done a few now, and I'm really liking it. I'm glad you're doing all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you for coming in and hanging out. I appreciate it. I'm chilling here. I want to play Sandrock, but I can't just yet. Why, Jem? 
Why you gotta do that to yourself? <laughs> Why you gotta do that to yourself? Technically, I have five classes because one is... Wait, wait, okay, I saw that. Reminds me of one of where the class was just two other students and a twat for a teacher? A core 300 course. I learned nothing new. Just three essays and a waste of time. <laughs> that sounds terrible, no <laughs> That sounds terrible. This one. This one's like totally thrown... It looks like a Christmas tree! Get out of here! Why does that look like a Christmas tree? <laughs> Stop! I forgive those who have harmed me in the past and peacefully but powerfully detach from them. That's interesting. Okay. Look, it's like Holly back here. Get out of here. Be honest with people about who you are, how you feel, and how you expect to be treated. Anyone who isn't receptive to, receptive to your wishes and truth doesn't deserve your energy anyway. Some people will only like you if you fit inside their box. So don't be afraid to shove that box up their ass and bounce. <laughs> if you have been hurt, release tension between yourself and others by disconnecting, reclaiming your energy and using it to develop peace internally i'm telling you only if you fit in their box hey yo <laughs> i'm telling you that's what this feels like like it's like you wanting to do something else this new thing that you want to do for yourself and your your immediate family and not what everybody else wants you to do. You'll be so much happier. That's interesting. But yeah, it looks like a Christmas tree. I don't know. <laughs> what is that? What's in the box? What's in the box? Correct your posture. Thank you. I hope you like that. I hope you like that, Minty. I hope it helps. Or at least gives you a new perspective or something. But thank you so much for letting me read for you. I appreciate it. Just let me win the lottery. That's freaking fair. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Cutting cords with minty pie. Cutting cords. Take your energy back. I do not want it. <laughs> that is yours. You take it back. Take it back. All right. Let me catch up. Tina. Hi, Tina. I was lurking on you today. How are you, Tina? How you doing? How you doing? I like a little bit of torture. Well, what? Huh? What am I missing? <laughs> what am I missing? Oh, because you're not playing Sandrock? Oh, you want to torture yourself. I see. I don't know why. It's amazing. You just need to play it. <laughs> It's a waste of torture, honestly. <laughs> it's a waste of torture. Uh, in the words of Captain Casa, you're all bad bitches, and you could do whatever the heck you want. <laughs> this is so true. Just record yourself playing, Gem. Just record yourself playing, and then share. Just next time you stream, just show it on the stream in the corner. <laughs> Christmas is always stress for me. It's a stress for a lot of people because a lot of those are like, you know, with Christmas time and stuff, it's a lot of those old traditions, right? With like a lot of your family. And it's hard to like say no, especially when it's something that you've done like your whole life, like growing up and stuff. It almost feels like it's expected and that it makes you feel so guilty when you want to do like something else and celebrate in your own way in this new day and age. Um, which I've also had to come to terms with as well because like I said, my family wanted to pay for us to go home for Christmas. But I was like, you know what? Like I'm fine. Like I'd rather stay here and have that money utilized for something else. Like Christmas is not that important for me to like feel like I need to be with family and feel like I need to have that memory you know what I mean? It's a great day. Don't get me wrong. And to have like my family there would be amazing. But that money would be so much better spent later on in next year 
when like time slows down for us and you know that those last months where Volchi is like gone we're just you know that's when we're gonna feel it and we're gonna wish that we had something going on so that would be perfect to utilize then but like right now like no nah, i'd rather like i can i can make something up with the girls they don't know any better they see all the christmas stuff we can make some cookies we can watch a movie with some popcorn like that's all they want they just care about the actual time spent together not so much about oh we were there with the family and remember that one year we didn't get to see the family like they don't know they're not gonna remember they're just gonna remember having a good time during the holidays that's all they care about so it's like hard to like it was hard yeah to like you know say no to that offer but it just wasn't worth it right now so i totally understand long story short i totally understand <laughs> hi doc how are you doc Hold on, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. I'm glad you're doing well, Tina. I'm glad you're doing well. Thank you for coming in and saying hi. It's so nice to see you. I'm poking things a little bit in Lords of the Fallen. What is Lords of the Fallen about? Then I can sand rock? Better? Almost over? Whatever this is! Mood. Actually a mood. Hold on, single and then two, okay. Actually a freaking mood. It's a soul, oh, it's a souls game. I, I don't think I would ever play a souls game to be honest. I don't know, I'm not really drawn to them and they look super freaking deep difficult. <laughs> they look super difficult. So I don't even know, like even if I wanted to play, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? There it is. There's the dance party. <laughs> dance party. Dance party. Welcome in, everyone. <laughs> Good try, Pix. Good try. <laughs> I gotta pause this.
We're not done yet. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. Hello, Sleeping Beauty. Duo, how was your stream? How many stitches today? You are getting so close. It's ridiculous. Hi, Sapphire. Sapphire, thank you so much for the six-month resub. Thank you so much. How are you, Sapphire? Hello, Taxi. Hello, everyone. Young Monk, I see you. Hello, hello. Hi, Shay. All right, I caught up. If you don't know me, I'm sure you do. Much progress? Let's freaking go. Was it over or under? <laughs> was it over or was it under? <laughs> Tess, no you, I love your face. I love your face. One stitch over. Get out of here, duo. Get out of here. One stitch over. <laughs> Did you round down? <laughs> I love that argument so much. <laughs> I sit back with the popcorn every time. Let's freaking go! 3.5 stitches over. <laughs> A full one stitch per hour. Let's freaking go. GG's. Sam Am Sam, welcome in. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Um, that's amazing. Let's freaking go. How many stitches do you have left though? I think last time I heard you had like 3,000 something. So this will put you around close to 3,000, I think? 2,300, get out of here. You're so close, you're gonna be done. You're not even stressed, get out of here. You're not even stressed this year, I don't want it. <laughs> if you do not follow Duo, <laughs> if you do not follow Duo, Duo is an amazing trophy hunter. Literally plays all the games, created a game, does, um. Crit, uh, oh, blah, 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 blah. cross stitch, <laughs> cross stitch, fastest cross stitcher on Twitch. Fight me, uh, knitting, and honestly, like keeps up a chat like no other. <laughs> please go, please go follow Duo. Also, Duo is amazing. Don't do it. Don't do it now. Um, but welcome in. Hello, I'm Mariana. You can call me Ari. Black sheep, sheepy. I'm a variety streamer. I mostly do crafts, all kinds of crafts. What is that? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, sometimes I play games that are cozy or spoopy, but usually you can expect chaos, loud noises, dance parties, jump scares, degeneracy, and enablement. <laughs> Hi, Polly. How are you? Um, and yeah, we're just, I'm making a Baphomet today. I made one before. I made one before. Ta-da! I should probably do this, huh? Ta-da! This is my last Baphomet. The steampunked out. I love it. I was very happy with it. It's got the beading on the horns and everything, and the needle felting flowers that Pix showed me how to needle felt. 
Uh, so I wanted to make another one. So this time around, I am doing a mushroom themed Baphomet. It's not this one. This is kind of a reference, but I am going to do a mushroom themed one. So I worked on, I have the head and the nose mouth, nose mouth, mouth nose. And this is going to be the body. So I started the body today. Um, I want to try a new technique with uh, pastels to get in some shading on it. And I, I've, there's a technique that I want to try to give in some dimension. So um, that's what I'm working on. It's just another creative endeavor for me. And uh, oh, I also do tarot. <laughs> I have a redeem. I was making comments about the mushroom. <laughs> mushroom tits I'm not doing the mushroom tits on top I'm gonna turn it into horns but I'm gonna create like a mushroom hat it's gonna be a mushroom hat with the horns that stick through <laughs> we're definitely not doing tits okay <laughs> Just the if you want tits you gotta go to heat you already got tits you already got tits with with heat over there <laughs> Doing well, just got back from PAX Unplugged! <gasps> how did it go, Polly? Tell me about it. Habiba, how are you, Habiba? How you been? That's blah, blah, not blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Sadia, hello, Sadia. <laughs> it's a nose mouth. It's a nose mouth. It's supposed to go on here. It's, well, cause it's like the nose. But then you like line the mouth on it too. I would have this assembled, but I can't find my safety eyes. <laughs> I can't find my safety eyes, so I had to order more today. <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna find them as soon as that package gets here, but it doesn't get here until Thursday, so that's why I'm just making body parts right now. It's a crime scene at the moment. It's a crime scene. But welcome in everyone. Thank you for coming to hang out. <laughs> Thank you for coming to hang out. Um, we're just Hank, we're just vibing. It hurts to laugh. I'm sorry, what happened, Sleeping Beauty? Are you okay? <clears throat> I've heard mixed things about Lord of the Fallen. I don't, oh, that's the, I haven't heard many people talk about that one. All right, this is for Iron. This is an affirmation for Iron on what spirit animal he is right now or what animal spirit is with him right now or he should em embody. There's a lot. Oh, you got two. Oh, these are big cards. These are big cards, Iron. Big iron energy. <laughs> Why is that a cooldown? What? <laughs> Did I put a cooldown? I might have put a cooldown on that a while back. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, we have black egg. Scam! <laughs> I have a lung inf- Oh, no! Oh, no! I hope you feel better. That sounds nasty. I hope you feel better. Oh, also do- If you have to do any after stream stuff, don't let me stop you. I'm gonna be here for a bit. I'm gonna be here. Cool down, Ayo! <laughs> Oh my gosh. I hope you feel better soon. That doesn't sound good at all. When it's in the lungs, that's so uncomfortable and so frustrating as well. So I hope you feel better soon. I would like to say I'll try not to make you laugh, but <laughs> I can't trust the things that come out of my mouth. <laughs> all right, let me see. Um, Black Egg, speaking from an authentic voice, the truth. Weren't we just talking about... <laughs> about the lungs and talking and whatever. Um, I thought you, I thought of you today when I was in Michael's car. Why, what'd you see? Also, hello, Chapstick Queen, how are you? What was it, what did you see? What did you see, I'm curious. If it was in Michael's, I don't know. If it was in Joanne's, if you saw the little eggplant or the little peach ornament, then yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> the black egg contains one of life's essential treasures. The truth. <laughs> Inside of it resides no confusion, excuses, small talk, noise, or lies. Not even white ones. This living and breathing vessel harbors only that which rings true. 
When this essence is in balance, we speak slowly and clearly. We are drawn to activities like writing, reading, teaching, singing, or perhaps public speaking. Sounds draw us in. Books draw us in. The concept of truth itself draws us in. We start asking questions like, what do I know to be true about myself? And what is true about the world? When the energy of the black egg is not yet assessed, we speak from an unsure place. We say things others want to hear, gossip, or repeat stories to justify our subpar behavior. <laughs> we might even try to convince ourselves that we have no inner truth at all. The energy of the black egg hovers and waits for us to reconnect. It is available at every moment in every situation. It's the epicenter of truth, the birthplace of our voice. The subtle essence of this card resides at the base of the throat, at the Vizhuda chakra. The ancient sages saw this center as the hub that governs our speech and expression. Vizhuda translates as especially pure. The balance of this center is important for all of us, but is especially essential for writers, editors, musicians, and teachers. And then you got dragon. That's interesting that you got like egg and dragon. Where is dragon? Here it is. What is it with this truth, Iron? What is it with this truth? What did I do? <laughs> craft stuff, all the craft stuff remind me. <laughs> Reminds me of you. My friend Rick and I made comments that collecting craft things is a legit hobby. It actually is craft, uh, Chapstick Queen. It actually is. I do that on the regular. <laughs> you know what I, did, what I did today? You know what I did today? I went to Michael's too. I got some yarn. Yarn I probably didn't need, but I, I got it to stock up. And while I was there, I got the needles that I needed that I went to get for my sewing machine. Um, but I also got some beading needles because I didn't have any beading needles. So I needed some, so, so I picked them up. You know, just in case I might need them one day. <laughs> so it's actually true, it's actually true. Everyone, went, yeah, everyone went to the craft store today. Who else was it that went to the craft store earlier? I didn't go to the craft store, but I went shopping on Etsy. That definitely counts. That definitely counts. <laughs> like she's a pro at that. I'm definitely a pro at that. Definitely, no doubt. Did someone else? Yes, they did. I forget who it was. They had to buy two, they had to buy two, get one sale for yarn. But my Michaels was insanely packed over as it usually ends up around the Christmas time. Yes, that's what it was. It was buy two, get one half off. And I was like, or no, it was a buy one, get one half off. That was my sale. So I was like, well, I might as well. <laughs> I need some more white for this project, which now I'm realizing is I have two different whites here. These are two different whites. It's not gonna work but I got two whites and then I was like well if I'm making a mushroom it's gotta have some sort of plant something on it right so I got green <laughs> it's a nice green too it's like mossy and then I was like well it's a mushroom I need a good I need a good red right <laughs> so I got this really nice it's showing it's showing brighter in camera it's like uh, it's showing a little more orange there but it's like right in the between. So I was like, well, I need red to make the top. <laughs> so that's what I got today. <laughs> that's what I got. Oh, I got you too, Heat. Okay, let me read this real quick for Iron. Dragon, seeing one's most true self, balancing the ego. The dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since before our first breath and will be there at our last. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous, visionary, and can easily drop into witness consciousness. 
It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror, deep into our eyes, we may even glimpse the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon breathing transformative fire into every cell of our bodies. Witnessing this omnipotent energy, even for a brief moment, helps us surrender and let go. We let the dragon guide us. We hope, oh, we hop on its back for a ride. And as we traverse even the most difficult terrain, the dragon's eyes see beauty everywhere. It is said that if a yogi does not see beauty in the world, their Agni is dim. Agni is described as inner fire or sacred intelligence. May even just may even just the mention of the dragon stir the embers of intelligence within you. And it's with the third chakra, the subtle energy of the dragon lives at the navel center in the Manipura chakra. Manipura translates to the city of hidden gems and behind its gates burns the fire of our transformative and digestion, transformation and digestion. The sages believed health of the fire at the navel center is what governs our ability to clearly see both the inner and outer dimensions. Let's freaking go, Iron. You got some like big energy here right now. Big freaking energy. Lots of true stuff too. All right, we'll do one for heat real quick. If I bring home more yarn, my closet might explode. <laughs> Loops and threads are nice, but my absolute favorite is Charisma. Is that it, Michael's as well? I've never got the loops and threads before. I just saw that they had this because the white that I was trying to get was, um, they didn't have any in the the red heart um, that this is. So I was like, oh, this also feels really nice though. This feels really soft. So I decided that this was okay. But yeah, it, it, they're really soft yarns. Two whites? Well, looks like you need to go back to the store. I know. Hopefully this will be enough, though. Hopefully this one will be enough. And I don't have to... Um, I won't have to get another one. Stitch It Picasso has their 60 Pattern Spooky Christmas Bundle and ha Sale Half Off. And Witchy Stitcher has their Creepmas Bundle and Sale. So I had to snag them. I heard about the Witchy Stitcher. I didn't know about the other one, though. Stitch it, Picasso. Can I get a remind for that, Sleeping Beauty? Can you remind me? So I can check that out later? No truth, only lies of P. Oh my gosh, Iron. I finished the duo sale last night. Let's go, Claire! GG's! You started something new? <gasps> what did you start, Claire? What did you start? Oh, this one, Heat. You also got a big one. What is going on today? Big energy right now. So it is charisma is super soft and beautiful blanket or cardigan weight. <gasps> I'm gonna have to look for that next time. I'll have to look for it. Hold on, what is it? Cosmic egg. Cosmic egg. Can I spell? I can spell. Ah, right there. Cosmic egg. Let's see, look. Look how pretty. And I like that on these cards, the, um, these ones, they have the metallic on there, which is really pretty. Um, completion, harmony, the infinite within the fin finite, finite, <laughs> the cosmic egg is the final card in the journey of the animal spirit deck. And it represents the unfolding of cosmic consciousness. This state emerges after we have thread, tread the path for quite some time and through self-effort and grace, we experience self-realization, a sense of contentment and oneness spontaneous, spontaneously, spontaneously, oh my God. <laughs> a sense of, of contentment and oneness spontaneously arises within us <laughs> and the veils of our self-limiting beliefs are lifted when the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated we may feel as if we will never get there or that we travel alone disconnected from others 
Even if our encounter with this card is brief, appearing at a momentary glimmer of a flash of interconnectedness, its potent energy stays with us. The cosmic egg is a remedy for the fragmentation of modern life. It's through the power of this card that we are reminded of the cosmic contact written at the beginning. Contract. Cosmic contract written at the beginning. We hold on to life and life holds on to us. The journey is complete, but it does not end. This is for the seventh chakra. The subtle essence of the cosmic egg resides at the crown chakra at the very top of the head called Sasarara. One of the aims of yoga and meditation practice is to channel energy from the base of the spine upward toward Sahasrara. Each of the six lower chakras plays an important role along this journey. And once the final epicenter of consciousness, consciousness is activated, it is said to radiate the light of a million suns. Dang, he, dang, let's freaking go. I feel like I know what this is. I feel like I know what this is about. I feel like I know what this is about, but I love that for you. A million suns sounds like he her bizzo. It does. It does. Thank you, Sleeping Beauty. Spontaneous combustion. I had to remember how to friggin' <laughs> No worries. No worries. You got it. Made it to the bottom rib. Ooh, thank you for the candy. I need to calm down. I'm like yelling, but not. I'm yelling, but not. <laughs> I hope you like that, Heat. I hope you like that. That's a good card. I love that for you. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. Heat equals snakes plus eggs and hot time. <laughs> so, they, it's the last cards in the deck. I forget what they're supposed to... Re they're supposed to represent the chakras. I know that. But, um, I forget the, the like, smaller term for them. Um, but yeah, those are, like, the, the, like special cards i guess you could say hold on i gotta i gotta untab my face because duo headed over here and i just see myself <laughs> i just see myself and it's weird there we go okay hold on make sure i untab all the things there we go Okay. Double sheep grave view? Imagine. Imagine. I mean, I bet you are, because you said that. <laughs> but. <laughs> check their website? I'm going to need to check their website. This is actually facts. For the charisma? I'm going to have to check that out. It's an advent calendar mystery cell. So no idea at the moment. So far it's just the word heart, a few gray lines, and what I think is either a robe or a dress. Ooh, I'm interested. I'm interested to see what it is, Claire. How often do they release parts of it? Thank you, Chapsis Queen. Thank you so much. I will definitely check that out. Made it to the bottom rib on the sweater. Once I bind off the ribbing, then onto Pix's pillow to finish the back, um, then back to sweater sleeves. <gasps> you have so much stuff almost done, Naughty Gnome. Let's freaking go. Back to sweater sleeves. Sleeve, sleeve, you're gonna be on Sleeve Island for a little bit. Let's go and pick this pillow. That's the one with the question block, right? That's the question block one. Looks so good. <laughs> How's the depot pick coming? Well. <laughs> well. This is where I'm at. This is all I have left. This is all I have left. Can I finish this? Maybe. 
It seems like more of a possibility now. Um, I did I did this off stream, this little row, and I'll probably do this part off of stream when I get a chance. Um, I might do another co-stream, a co-working stream, co-stream, another co-working stream in another two weeks because my kids will be off at school, so I'll be able to stay a little longer. Like, I won't have to rush to go to, like, pick them up. So maybe on, like, a Monday or Friday, I'll just stay, like, an extra two hours. Um, from my normal stream time and just get a lot of this done. Um, but yeah, it's it's very, very close. So it's more manageable now. But when I did that co-working stream the, um, on Saturday, I got this whole row done right here. This whole row that day um, in like seven hours. And I was taking breaks and stuff. Um, so it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I got a lot of it done. Really did, Dex right? Underscore Stitch says Sheepy is the perfect example of oh, what it means me to be a true crafter that we can all relate to. She has shit to finish, but it <laughs> let's have a new start. I could DP faster, but instead I'm going for a quadruple penetration because that's how we fucking roll. Look at the panic in her eyes. We've been there. <laughs> every day this week i probably would get this done with plenty of time but am i working on it no i'm working on a new freaking bath of <laughs> i just didn't want to get burnt out you know i just didn't want to get burnt out i want to start the new things i want to start the new things <laughs> jam get out of here to sheep goddess Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jem. Thank you so much for the gift sub. You're such a sweetheart. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Jem. I started a Crash Bandicoot today. What? Why don't ask? <laughs> Same as you. <laughs> I won't, I won't ask if you won't. <laughs> I won't ask if you won't. Oh my gosh, that sounds really cool though. A Crash Bandicoot? That sounds amazing. I heard finishing on Pix's pillow. <laughs> you heard right, Jim. You heard right. I will not correct you. <laughs> sounds like the Queen of Hearts. Wait, which one? Who's the Queen of Hearts? Yes, the Mario block. That thing is so freaking cool. That thing is so freaking cool. It looks amazing every time I see it. I have the whole thing. It's a physical pattern. The advent calendar is odd days. It's a, it's a treat, a minder, and something. And even days is a pattern in parts. So I get the third part. Oops. Of the pattern tomorrow. <gasps> Let's freaking go, Claire. That sounds like so much fun. That sounds like so much fun. Pomodoro! Pomodoro! I can't remember that word. Pomodoro stream. It was a Pomodoro stream. I may have to commission someone to make Pix's pillow! <laughs> hey, there's quite a few crafters here, Polly. I would say me, but you know how long it takes me to do anything. <laughs> Case in point. You know how long it takes me to do anything. Coworking seemed to do wonders for your productivity. It really did. It really, really did. I got done half the body of my sweater during the last poem. Oh, let's freaking go, Naughty Gnome. I love that. I love that. I'm glad, I'm glad you got a lot of progress in. Why does it sound like Blink-182? Na 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 It's all I hear. <laughs> What new star? What new star? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. This was already started. This was already started. <laughs> the hearts with the gray stripes and the robe dress clues. Oh, what Claire is doing. Ooh, I wonder if it is Queen of Hearts. That would be gorgeous. We all know you need a deadline. <laughs> Duos figured it out. Duo figured out that if I have a deadline, 
I will get shit done. <laughs> if I had a legit deadline, but the thing is, is I don't really have deadlines normally. <laughs> My life is mine to walk the path of whatever direction I want. And it doesn't, I mean, it helps, but it doesn't help me get things done. It really doesn't. Just do three streams You're, a week for the rest of the month. At work. <laughs> I mean, I could. Do you mind if I do that? I Also, same too. Like, I don't want to make too much diamond painting and wear you all down with diamond painting. That's my other thing too. I mean, I could definitely do it like three times a week if you like. <laughs> I could do it more if you like that too. <laughs> Karaoke time, let's go! <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. I really do. I really do. The word is just chilling off on its own in a seemingly random spot. But it's a pretty font. I have no idea how this is going to look when it's done. Just that it's themed around a Christmas. Oh, it's a Christmas carol. Hmm. I don't know then. I have no idea then. I'm curious. The path of distraction. <laughs> I walk the path of distraction. <laughs> Distraction. <laughs> Soro! Hi, Soro! Hi! Who started this party without me? Oh my gosh, Soro. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. My ADHD thrives on a deadline. Hi, Mario. How are you? Yeah, it's rare that I have deadlines anymore. Which I guess. I don't know. Maybe I should really make a deadline for myself more often. But like sooner, more than a year. <laughs> or less than a year, I should say. Less than a year. More than a year. Imagine. I wear people down with games <laughs> all the time. <laughs> this is true. This is true. This is true. Some games, are, it, I think it though, that depends on the person. Well, I guess that matters in any, in any case, right? Like if the person loves the game, it's not bad to them. They're just like, yes, more of this. But then if it's like someone who doesn't care for the game or they don't want to watch because of spoilers and it's like, no, duo, get, finish this game already. <laughs> I personally will never get tired of watching DP. All right, I guess uh, you asked for it. <laughs> You asked for it. We're gonna have a lot of DP the rest of the week. Maybe next week too. If I can at least get one section done a day, I think we'd be golden. You are crafting bottom. You take it all so well. And yes, craft Hermes can look good. <laughs> I can't with you. I can't with you. We don't come here for the crowd. This is true. <laughs> See, this is actually facts. This is actually facts. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. <laughs> Claire, I got you. Trevor is good for sanity since I'm losing mine. <laughs> let's see. Let's do. Let's do one of these. And let's do inner wisdom. Let's do these. We'll do two. Just because I feel like these are always so short sometimes. <laughs> Hoping tomorrow provides more I can make sense of. I'm like one third done with the info I have because I should have started the stitching on the second. But I was trying to finish the duo sal. That's fair though. That's fair. You'll catch up. You'll catch up though. I thrive on a deadline. If I have less time than the project should, if I have less time than the project should actually take, I should try that. I should try that. Especially with the cross stitching, I should be like, all right, this month I'm gonna cross stitch at least 500 stitches for the month. And I have to get it done. Probably more than 500. <laughs> but you get it. Pomo DP. Oh! 
doing Pomo DP. Oh, I love this one! It's the one with the little mixer in the heart. Even if it hurts, sometimes I need to mix it up. The end result may be the sweetest cinnamon rolls ever. I love that card. That's one of my favorites. Let's get one of these. Oops. Back in there. <laughs> Does that make me a crapto? <laughs> Does that make me the one sitting in the chair in the corner finishing it eventually? <laughs> it's supposed to only be 4,300 stitches and about 400 every two days. Well, that's kind of a bit for two days. But yeah, you'll catch up. I think you'll have one of those days coming up where it'll just be like, you'll have time to like finish, like just stitch and then you'll catch up real quick. Be friends forever because you already know too much. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Yarn can be binding. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is for Claire. This one. Sexuality! What? <laughs> I think this means you gotta get schmexified. Very often, sexuality is blocked by negative beliefs, ideas, and prejudices. Try to embrace sexuality with an open mind. Sexuality is a sacred power with immense healing potential for our bodies and our soul. This means you gotta be a hoe. <laughs> this means you gotta hoe it up, yo. <laughs> I was just thinking about trying to convince myself to hook up with BX. Ah, there you go, Claire. This is, this is your validation and confirmation. But like I said, this should be fun for you. Do this for fun. Do this for fun. Get out there. I mean, even not just saying like, go ahead, go have sex. Like, I mean, you should because <laughs> it's fun. But I'm just saying like, just I think this is also saying like, get into your sexy bad bitch phase. Like, get cute. Go out shopping. Get yourself a very schmexy little dress and go somewhere where you can wear it and get all dolled up. Get in touch with your, your schmexuality. But also if you can get the schmexy times in, totally do that too. <laughs> totally do that too. I mean, you never know. You never know until you try it. You never know until you try. As long as you have the mindset of like, this is for you, not for them. This is for you. And hopefully you'll enjoy it. <laughs> hopefully you can enjoy it. But it's for you. <laughs> Gonna see Troll this weekend or next? Does that count? I mean, it counts. Get smexy and go. Actually, that might be kind of weird. <laughs> kind of weird with kids around. <laughs> you also have this too, which is funny. Saying to mix it up. So if smexy, smexy looking and smexy times are not your thing, maybe that's what you need to mix up a little bit. Have a little fun. Be a little carefree, a little, a little more vibrant than you normally would be. Try it. See how you feel. See how it makes you feel. Sometimes we need that. You might discover something you like about yourself that you didn't know. I like that. I like them both. I like them both for you. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Why did I read that so quickly to you? Belize and vanilla ice cream cake. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did we just combine that gem? Is that now combined together? <laughs> I was just thinking. Okay, wait, I saw that. Supposed to be my brother is going to pick my sister from school for the rest of the week. So that's another six to eight hours I didn't have before. Let's freaking go, Claire. Take advantage. Yeah, do some things for yourself. If with all that extra time. Embrace the whole phase. Embrace the whole phase. I don't regret mine. I'll tell you that right now. I may have regret the people I was with, but I don't regret the actual whole phase. <laughs> when my dad was in college, after we moved down here, I worked things off by writing his papers because he typed slow. <laughs> I always waited until the day before they were due to research and write everything. Then I get... <gasps> Jam! <laughs> Thank you for getting us some to whole face. <laughs> I hope they come 
in here at some point. I really do. I really do. That would be amazing. Thank you, Jem. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Um, then I get no less than eight than eighty eights, but usually in the nineties. Procrastination. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't think I could do. Okay, wait. I saw that. I'm gonna. No, I saw that. Yes. All the. <laughs> Rabbit. Let's freaking go, Rabbit. I have five decks here. Let me zoom out. Yeah, we ain't getting nothing done today. That's a lie. I did get two rows done. I did get two rows done. <laughs> In the very beginning of my round. Still counts. <laughs> Still counts. These are the decks that I have. I have the original. I have a Persona 5. I have this one, which is very, very cutesy, cutesy, adorable. I have this one that you pro uh, you saw earlier, and then I have this one, which is an AI deck. Which one would you like? One, two, three, four, or five? All the vanilla ice cream cake. <laughs> Guys are gross, so I don't know where they've been. Well, that's why you use protection. <laughs> That's why you use protection, Claire. <laughs> Next time you have the chance to flirt, just think, what would Heat say? And say that, yes! Yes! Do that. Do that. You absolutely need to do that. <laughs> I do need to just go for it sometimes instead. Yes. 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 It's liberating. It is. Once you let go, it's very liberating is a big weirdo. You're definitely not a weirdo. And if you are, I don't care because I'm a weirdo too. <laughs> Number three, got you. Got you. Getting nothing done, AKA my time is set. <laughs> That's why you gotta play, Jam. That's why you gotta get back into it and play. You gotta see what's gonna happen next. You gotta go see what's gonna happen next. Dazzling Sam, how are you? How are you doing? How is everything? How is everything? I'm planning ornaments right now with these creepy Christmas patterns and I'm psyched. I, that would be an amazing idea, honestly. They're gonna look so freaking adorable. Weirdos. <laughs> I'll try the flirting, but protection is 100%. It freaks me out, Claire. It'll freak you out too if you get knocked off. <laughs> you had me at you were big. <laughs> Amy, how are you, Amy? Welcome in. How are you? Thank you for coming to hang out. How are you doing today? <laughs> Sorry, we're kind of wilding out right now. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're doing good, Sam. I'm glad you're doing good. I hope everything is going to continue to go great for you with all this chaos happening in, uh, in this holiday season. I hope for everybody. I hope the holidays are chill for everyone this year. <laughs> Little bit of a long shot, but wishing that for all of you. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> this is for Rabbit. Rabbit wants career. All right. What situation in Rabbit's career does Rabbit need to focus on? Oh, they're all just flying out over here. Okay. All right. And what is the problem with this situation? What is the problem for this situation for Rabbit? Oh, I lost it. What is the problem for this situation for Rabbit? I like this one. And what is the outcome? Or not the outcome, but the um, solution. What is the solution? That's a lot. Something about 
Something becoming known to you. What is the solution to this situation? Oh, you had the moon and then you got the sun. That's really interesting. The moon in reverse was about secrets becoming visible, like secrets that were things that were secrets being known to you or like you're going to learn about them. Um, but you got the sun, which is crazy. Okay, let's see. Okay. Career. So our situation, something about hopes and dreams. Definitely. <laughs> I loved how she's just dumping out the water. Look. <laughs> she's like, just as a thought, trash. <laughs> But no, she's, she's, thank you for the lurk, um, I hope you're doing well. The solution is rum. <laughs> I know, right? She's like, this isn't, this isn't rum. This is water. We don't want it. <laughs> we don't want it. Fuck the water. <laughs> All right, let me see. Something about hopes and dreams. And then we have the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles is about a decision. It's about balancing. Um... It's about a balancing and a decision, but um, it's about, since it's pentacles, this is going to be finances. So it could be like balancing your finances, not knowing where to invest, um, which direction to go to that would be most beneficial in like, um, Diamond Lover, how are you? Welcome in! In um, which direction to go in that's going to give you the most um, financial back. It feels like, I. it's funny because she also, this little goat, I think it's a goat. It's got to be a goat. Um, she's also got two containers that she's like dumping out. <laughs> so the two of pentacles in reverse. Um, how would I read this in the reverse? My first thought is like, it's a struggle to maintain two things. Maybe more, I mean, it could be more than two things, but it's like a struggle to maintain any sort of direction on like which path to focus on. I don't know how to say that better. Like, um, cause it depends what part, what type of situation this is talking about in the career. Like say, for example, if this is like you between two jobs, for example, um, I feel like it's like you're struggling to get options or get the like, almost like feedback that you deserve. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but I'm going to say it because I have to learn to trust myself. But it's like getting like the feedback that you deserve as far as projects to take or like career paths to take, like you're struggling to get them coming in. I know this isn't like um, an option, the options card, which is the what? Seven of cups or whatever. Um, but it's giving like, because it's in the reverse, like he's usually balancing the pentacles. Right? He's like balancing. So when it's upside down, I feel like it's like grasping at like, at like the different things that you're not able to hold on to. But also then you have it with the star. So it's like, it's like big wishing that you're going to get recognized. Maybe like something will fall into your lap. Is that what I'm thinking? It's like, Nothing is good enough. I'm so focused on her, like, just dumping these out with her little, like, smushy face. <laughs> Usually this means um, balance. This is also a healing card as well. Um, but it almost feels like, like I said, it's like... Um, <sighs> 
It's like hoping the right thing falls into your lap, but nothing has presented itself yet. And you may have a couple of options, but you're like, you're struggling to make them worth your time and effort. You're struggling to see it as something worth your time and effort. That's what I want to say. That's what it feels right to say. It's like, yeah, it's like you're you're waiting for something that you want to be in love with or you want to be passionate about. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a specific job. It could be like a project you're working on. It could be um, people to work with. Um, Pentacles represents materialistic things. So um, time, energy, such and such besides finances. But yeah, that's what it's feeling like. It's definitely like it's giving me... Um, just waiting for like the perfect thing to come in that you're gonna like, that you've been hoping and wishing for. Um, but whatever is coming in with this, it's like you're struggling to like see the benefit of it. You're struggling to see like, like the worth out of it, I guess you could say. Um, the problem with this is you have the Six of Wands in reverse. The Six of Wands is about recognition. Um, it's a guy on a horse after a victory riding through a crowd and he's being celebrated for all of his um all of his good th his good deeds and stuff but you have this in the reverse so the reason it i feel like this is feeling this way is it might be because you don't feel like you're being recognized for things that you're passionate about and so that's why you feel like you're not getting these things that are going to make your dreams come true as far as your career goes. That that's like very straightforward for me. It's just that that you feel underappreciated and underrecognized for what you you feel like you're doing a really great job with that you're like super in love with, super passionate about. Excuse me. It's like you're getting things that have nothing to do with like maybe what you're good at or what you've been specifically wanting to do. They're giving you like everything else or everything else is coming in and you're just like, it's not what I want. But the solution, the solution is the sun, which is an amazing card. This is about, um, literally it's just joy, happiness, um, excitement, that's literally all this card is about. There's, there's not much to it. It's just living the happiest and best life. Um, so what is the solution? I feel like, I mean, yes, I could say it as like, oh, don't worry, like your happy ending will come, which maybe, maybe that's what it's saying. But I'm also thinking like, if you could just stick with what you're getting, and kind of look at the bright side of everything, eventually it'll turn into these hopes and dreams. That's my first thought on what this is saying. I'm curious what number this is and what number this is. I wonder which one's in front of the other. These are both major arcanas. So these are going to be life long phases, if not for the rest of your life as a life lesson. The star is like dreams that you've been wanting for a very long time. And like these like temporary things coming in. Um, this is all temporary. Because, but you have these big. I'm not going to freak out. <laughs> I'm going to be cool. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh my God. Girl. <laughs> I'm going to be real cool. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi, how was the rest of your stream? <laughs> Gotta remember how to be a streamer. Hold on. <laughs> Phoebe, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Dad 
the Reaper, hello, welcome, thank you for the follow. <laughs> got this uh ty galaxy welcome in absinthe welcome in grumbly thank you so freaking much for the rain <laughs> how was the rest of your stream i did i saw part way through the metallic mask that you were working on and i was loving how it was looking but i i missed quite a bit at the end there um so i, I i'm curious to see the rest of the progress on it um welcome in everyone <laughs> hi i'm ariana you can call me ari Black sheep, sheepy. I'm a variety streamer. I mostly do crafts. All kinds of crafts. Uh, I guess I need to make a list. Uh, cross stitch. <laughs> cross stitch, diamond painting, amigurumi, needle felting. Uh, what else do I do? <laughs> Sewing. I do a lot. I do a lot. Sometimes I play games. Sometimes they're cozy. Sometimes they're spoopy. But you can definitely expect chaos, loud noises, dance parties, jump scares, degeneracy, enablement. And um, I think that's it. <laughs> we used to have Schmexy puzzles, but the website broke, unfortunately. So we don't have puzzles anymore. Gonna sit on it for the night, but it's looking promising for sure. It was a really cool um, metallic paint that you had. Oosh, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Everybody breaks up <laughs> This is true. Welcome in, everyone. Hello, hello. I know I missed quite a few messages, but thank you so freaking much, Grumbly. Thank you so much. If you do not know Grumbly, <laughs> I don't know how you couldn't. Um, a lot of dark art does a lot. Oh, Werewolf, thank you so much for the follow. does a lot of dark art, um, mostly mask making, which a lot of them are more on the darker, gothier side, which is totally my thing, as most of you know. Um, but yes, a lot of really, really... Ooh, Jasmine, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. And Sleepy Jinx, thank you so much for the follow as well. I appreciate that. Welcome in, everyone. <laughs> Um, but yeah, super, super chill vibes, but also <laughs> Crafty Tabby. Thank you for the candy, Crafty Tabby. Um, also, um, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. My brain is, is turned off. <laughs> Go check out Grumbly, please. <laughs> please. I'm always there. I'm literally always lurking. I, I just got to say I'm loving the new time because it allows me to have more time to like sit and lurk. And I can see more of your like progress on the mass, which is really freaking cool. If you have your link for your Instagram, I would love for you to post it. Links are allowed in chat so I can share it with everybody. But if you have to also run off because I know you're always on for a very long time, don't let me stop you. But welcome in everyone. I have a tarot redeem because although I'm very new, a friend of mine heard I was dabbling and asked me to do tarot for a charity, a big, big charity event back in September. I ended up enjoying it. My community loves it, so I continue to do it. Um, but I have it as a redeem. So I was just doing a, a quick reading real quick. But I am working on an amigurumi. I'm doing a Baphomet. Um, it's going to be a mushroom theme, not this one. This is like reference. The last one I did... The last one I did is this one, which is my steampunk Baphomet. Um, and I had a lot of fun with this. I put all the gears, I did all the, the beading and everything. And I had so much fun that I wanted to make another one. So we're doing mushroom theme now. 
We're doing a mushroom thing. So welcome in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, there it is. Perfect. I have to show this off. Honestly, I funny enough. Um, wait, that's not it. <laughs> Hold on. Which one am I clicking here? There it goes. All right. Give me a second. Let me turn this on. And I also have to turn it on over here. Hold, please. There we go. Um, like I said, a lot of dark art. And funny enough, I... So I have two sides to me. <laughs> I have my very dark, gothy side. And I have my, like, fun and colorful, like, ravey side. Um... And there was, I forget the artist now, but you remind me of his art. I, d I gotta find who it was. But when I first saw, which one was it? It was an older one. I don't remember which one it was, but it's in one of your prints and it really reminded me of them. I'm gonna find it for next time. But these are all the masks, they're super amazing. I can only hope that one day I can afford one of these. <laughs> When I get Twitch famous, you know? <laughs> I will definitely throw down for one of these one day. They're amazing. That green one though, that green one. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. So freaking cool. You're welcome. I, I'm a big fan. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm trying not to freak out. <laughs> big fan. But so, so, so... I can't even talk. Such amazing art, though. Thank you so much for the freaking raid. That means so much. I know I had a really chill stream. I know you said you were lurking the other day. That was that was a really cheer, chill stream. But honestly, we're chaos here. <laughs> honestly, we're chaos. So in the, I'm holding in the fangirl real good right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please go, please go drop a follow. Honestly, so worth it such like good working vibes too like if you're working on something that is the place you would want to go hang out actually facts but welcome in everyone. <laughs> welcome in everyone but yeah that's what i'm doing i'm just finishing up a reading and then i am working out like i said i'm working on my new baphomet i have a couple pieces i have a couple pieces this is gonna have a little bit of experimentation so i don't have like an exact thing yet um, and my safety eyes, I lost them. So I had to order more. So the, the face isn't going to get done till Thursday, but I'm starting on the body. So that's what I was working on today, but <laughs> diamond paint is going to come out for a while. Cause I have a project that I need to finish as well soon. Um, so yeah, so you'll probably see me doing a lot of diamond, diamond painting coming up, but, uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. I'm super behind on chat. Usually, I'm just letting you know. I am a chat streamer, not a progress streamer. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for coming to hang out. I really do appreciate it. And thank you again so much for the freaking raid. Thank you so much. So not going to cry after stream today. <laughs> well, like I said, if you have to do after stream stuff, don't let me stop you. I'm going to be here for at least another 30 minutes or so. Um, so yeah, so I, 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 let me see where I was at. Oh my gosh. Art makers and crafters is just chatting with extra steps. This is, this is so true. I know a couple, a couple makers and crafters who actually do get stuff done, but they are such chill streams where they're very focused in their work. And I love those too. Like I, I obviously I'm like hanging out with them a lot as well, but, um, most of the time, yeah, when there's, like, someone who's, like, ready to chat with you, like, they don't get anything done. <laughs> Les! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. <laughs> or unless you're Duo. Duo gets everything done while he's chatting. <laughs> Welcome in, though. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. Speak for yourself. <laughs> exactly. Ex, ex freaking exactly. 
All right, let me see. This was for, shoot, I don't even remember what I was doing. Um, I'm at the very end of this. Rabbit, this is for Rabbit. Oh my gosh. All right, Rabbit. But yeah, I just feel like, I just feel like this is saying that once you just kind of dive into something and you get going on it, I think either as long as you look on the bright side of things, I think it'll work itself out. I think it'll work itself out if you look on the bright side. I think eventually you'll start to find like some love for it or some enjoyment in the process. And you might finally start getting into those things that you actually do want to do. You might start getting those things that um, that you've been trying to like draw into yourself. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I want to say. But yeah, that's what that's what this sun card feels like. Like I said, because it's all this is, represents just pure happiness and joy. So I'm I really feel like it's just like as long as you're feeling like you're okay with what you're doing for now and just look on the bright side it's kind of like what you put out is what you get back kind of thing um let me see if i can get let's see number one so yeah it's it it feels like that that's what it feels like what you put out is what you get back and i think once you start putting out that good energy the good energy attracts right people like to be around people that are in a good mood um, people like to be around people who are enjoying their, you know, their day or whatever. So it kind of feels like that more than anything else. Hope I didn't lose you. Definitely tapped my struggles at work with balance and how it's shifting with the better. Yeah, that's, if that's exactly what it is with that, like, struggle to, like, see the better part of it, I think that's definitely what this is pointing to. Cause like I said, yeah, I could see this as like, oh yeah, don't worry in the end, it's gonna be happy life forever. Like, <laughs> it could be, it could be. But yeah, I think this is just more of like, looking into the happy things, like the happier side of it right now and looking at the, you know, like, well, oh, it's not what I'm doing. Thank you for the candy, Imperfect. It's like not doing exactly what you wanna do, but you know, it's okay. Cause you know, at least, at least it's something that you can do well. And you might be working with people that you do enjoy. So it's like seeing it like that is seeing the happier side of it. Well, let me get you one more. Am I able to ask what card size this is? Yes, of course. Uh, I believe it's exclamation point hollows. H-O-L-L-O-W-S exclamation point hollows. And it should bring up the link. This is the Bumbleberry Hollows tarot deck. These two, we had this one earlier. Let me see. We have all of my problems breed opportunity <laughs> for a solution. I rage create to dominate the solutions. Problems are our homies, our peeps, and our friends. There will always be, well, she's calling me. There will always be, there we go. There will always be problems. And this means there will always be new opportunities to creatively solve these problems. Opportunities open the door to unlimited possibility. Freedom for those who solve the problems. Pass pacifiers are for those who don't. Fulci's super calling me. I gotta call him back right now. But yeah, see, it's like that happiness. You have the rainbow here too. This is definitely that like looking at the better side of things. Today, I'm 1% better. Today, I will help another freedom soldier become 1% better. You could have been an ant protecting your queen on a leaf on a bush in the jungle, but you aren't. You are you. You are supposed to be you. You are super fly and sexy as fuck. Life is a discovery of yourself and then a journey to help others discover their magic as well. What can you do today to get closer to the new you? How can this new you help those around you? Every day, ask yourself these questions. How can I become 1% better? How can I use my services to help another become 1% better? Yeah, these tie in so well together. It's just that, like I said, it's that look at the happy side of things. And maybe you having that happy outlook will make others around you have the happy outlook, which might start bringing in those opportunities that you're, that you're looking for. You're welcome, no problem. But I hope that it helps, Rabbit. Thank you so thank you so much for letting me read for you. 
I appreciate it. But I hope it gives you some sort of new perspective or anything. New thought process. So thank you so much. Hi, Kiros. How are you? How are you doing? How was your day? But yeah, I like that for you. I get that though. I get that where it's like nothing seems to be working out correctly. So I understand. Hi, Kiros. I'm good. I just woke up. How was your sleep? How was your sleep? I have a bunch of chocolate to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in front of me so it looks like I'm doing something. <laughs> so Makers and Crafters doesn't kick me out. There we go. Thank you, rabbit. Oh, cutting cords with rabbit. I don't want your energy. You take that back. <laughs> That's all yours. I don't want it. <laughs> all right. What time is it? I got 15 minutes. So let me attempt to do one more round here. I don't remember what I was doing. Single crochet, two single crochets next. What was I doing? One, nope, we gotta head back. We gotta head back, hold on. <laughs> We're just gonna frog that. It's gonna take me forever to figure it out. Um, well, I gotta shake this out for a second. <laughs> I gotta shake it out for a second, hold please. Hold please. <laughs> all right, all right, we're good. We're good. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Single, single and two, okay. So single and two. Whew. I know, I gotta shake it out. I shake it out. I'm excited though. I'm ex I'm really excited about this. I, I think I wanna do the mushroom part as a hat. I wanna do the mushroom part as a hat so the horns would like go through. So I would have to figure out how to add holes to the top or how to crochet around holes. Um, and then um, I also want to add, I wanna add like vines or something at the bottom. So I gotta look for like a plant pattern. So I have ideas for this, but I'm really excited because I wanna do the, the... She wasn't ready. <laughs> no, I'm never ready. Uh, I want to do the pastels. I want to do the pastels and see if that works. I have some really old makeup brushes, so it's like, like brush it on, add some dimension. So I'm hoping it doesn't look weird because of all the holes on the crochet. I'm wondering if that's gonna like smudge up the holes or like not smudge up the holes, but like get chunky. So I'm curious to try it. I hope I don't ruin it though, cause that would suck. If I spent all this time making it and then I ruined it, <laughs> imagine. It was a beautiful reading. I'm off to bed. Have a great rest of the same. Thank you so much, Rabbit. Have a wonderful sleep. Count all the sheep. Thank you for hanging out, and I will see you soon. I will see you soon. Yeah, like a mossy look, but at the bottom. I don't know how to want to do that yet. You could crochet the top part of the horns from the top of the mushrooms instead of going through the mushrooms. Well, I'm not gonna add the mushrooms because those look like freaking tits and I don't, <laughs> I don't want tits on its head. So it's, I'm legit gonna make horns and then make like the mushroom top as a hat. So that's what I was gonna do. <laughs> they do, you can't unsee that. Tell me you can't unsee that now. They look like tits, I don't want that. <laughs> Top of the horns, top of the mushroom instead of going through. So that's why I'm thinking like if I do the small horns, so like if I do these, where are they? If I do these ones, see how they have the like little, little chubby ones? <laughs> and I don't, I'm not gonna do the ears. I think the ears would be too much. So it would just be the horns and then I would do like a little like mushroom hat like this. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see. 
Blembly, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Thank you so much. It doesn't want to stay now. Oh! Munster? Is it Munster? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. My book doesn't want to stay anymore. I ruined it. <laughs> I also don't even have my page open. Here we go. There we go. Boobamet. <laughs> yes. I don't want a Boobamet. Please. No, thank you. <laughs> Imagine. That would be, that, I mean, it wouldn't be unfortunate because I do have a community of degenerates, but <laughs> it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but I'd much rather have it without, <laughs> without it. Hi, Geeky. How are you? How was your day? How was your day? Okay, tits, little chubbies, and just the tip. What kind of stream is a she? You already know, Sleeping Beauty. You act like you've never been here before. What the fuck is this? Jiggly physics and that's what you got. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some of the nasty ones get through. And not that I mind, it's just two us. <laughs> two us. Me getting mad that there wasn't smut when I looked when it looked like there was gonna be to the on par gifts. Oh. locos in the last two weeks a lot of mocha locos which is great because there's a lot that i don't know yet and with the team getting so big it's nice to meet everybody how was your stream what were you working on today you weren't just chatting what were you chatting about what are you chatting about i mean you could be doing anything just chatting has has quite a bit in there <laughs> what were you what were you what were you doing in there what were you doing so nice to meet all of you i'm so glad yes thank you so much let me say hello to everybody. Uh, and let me say, is it Sang? Sang? I think that's with the TS. Let me know if I'm saying that wrong, but thank you so much for the follow. Hazel, welcome in. Pigeon Coop, welcome in. Tangled Brush, welcome in. Duck Navi, hello. Monster, I see you there. Hello, everyone. Hello, Cookie Jar Pottery, hello. Ooh, do you do pottery? Are you a streamer? Are you a streamer? I'm trying to meet more pottery people. Cookie is also a mogo! Let me drop the follows before I freaking forget. Drop a follow for you. And let me get Cookie as well. Definitely been looking for some more pottery people. I only know a couple. I only know a couple, so I'm gonna go check it out. Blem and chat work together to rewrite a problematic part of Baby It's Cold Outside, and then she and I sing the new version together. <gasps> That sounds amazing! Get out of here! That sounds epic! I'm a streamer, but not pottery. I do variety games! Let's freaking go! I'm gonna drop you one too. Give me a second. I have music. There we go. I got it. I got it. It was very impromptu and so much fun. That sounds like a freaking blast. I once upon a time wish I was a musician. <laughs> Um, I once, a time, once upon a time also wished I dated a bunch of band boys, but that didn't work out either. <laughs> that didn't work out either. Actually, that's not true. There was one guy that I did end up dating who was the lead singer of a band who was actually really good. But it was my worst date I've ever been on, so... <laughs> that says something, I don't know. 
I followed before the raise because Blem shouted you out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you for the follow, Hazel. <laughs> me, Blem, and I have collabed before, so I was just like, want me to come into BC and sing it with you? That sounds like so much fun. Cookie, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Phoebe. Phoebe, I also got to say congratulations. I saw the little bit before I ran off that you got... Um, Big jobs, and I, I saw your art, and it's beautiful. I love I love your art as well. Uh, I love the vibes here already. I'm so glad we're on the same team. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is this is an idea of what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna make it a mushroom theme, but not this one, cause we talked about this right before you came in. We don't want tits for head. We don't we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that. Um, but this is the last one I did. I did a steampunk one. And um, I had a lot of fun with this, and I love it so freaking much. So I wanted to make another one and do a different theme. So that's why I'm doing more of the, like, mushroom thing right now, because I've been really into, like, cottage core and, like, witchy vibes and stuff. So I want to do, like, a mushroom thing. So um, this is all I've got so far. I've got the head. <laughs> And the nose mouth here uh, but I can't find my safety eyes anywhere so I had to order more which won't be here till Thursday and I did start on the body this is what I was working on today <laughs> Say that again. I liked it. oh my gosh you're welcome we watched your smear not clip and Becca won't come I don't even know what clip that is <laughs> there's a couple uh, but I'm not sure which one that is. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you see my corgi? I have two corgis, but one's usually in here sleeping. Where is she? Does she go under my desk? Oh, she's under my desk now. I would pick her up, but she's like shedding like crazy. And I'm wearing black, so. <laughs> but I have two. I also have the red and white colorway, but she didn't come in the room with me. This is Stitch. Stitch is in here with me right now. She's been super, like, playful. I feel better that you also have lost your eyes <laughs> because I misplace them all the time and I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know what I did. I cleaned my craft area. That's what happened. I cleaned my craft area and now I don't know where they're at. <laughs> this is why we don't clean our creative spaces. We just let them be. We just let them be. Rider girl, how are you? I didn't even say, I didn't even do this. Hello, hi, I'm Ariana. You can call me Ari, black sheep, sheepy. I'm a variety streamer. <gasps> Duck Navi, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, I am a craft streamer. I do all kinds of crafts, all kinds of crafts. Sometimes I game, sometimes they're cozy, sometimes they're spoopy, but you can definitely expect loud noises, chaos, dance parties, jump scares. Degeneracy. Enablement. <laughs> uh, and I don't have schmexy puzzles anymore because the website is down. I keep wanting to say it. It feels weird not saying that. <laughs> Can't confirm whether I bought a Smirnoff bag. <laughs> no one will ever know. I would never know. I would never know. But thank you so much. Thank you so much for the follow. I can't wait to check you out. Um, I have full trust in the Moco Logo team. That no, it, all of them that I've met so far are all amazing freaking people. So, um, so excited, so excited to go hang out. You're so ha so happy to be here. Thanks for watching the Blimbos for me. No worries. Yes, yes, yes. Go go do your after stream stuff. Have a wonderful sleep. Count all the sheep. Thank you so much again. For the raid i super appreciate it and hopefully i see you soon hopefully i see you soon why why would you click i don't know <laughs> i don't know the funny part was the intention to actually like reorganize my space and like move things and i didn't do that <laughs> i ended up not doing that cheer 100 <gasps> blemby love get out of here thank you for the biddies thank you so much Internet fixed itself last night. Thank you for everything. It was oh, I'm so sorry, Bochi. I love you. I'm glad you got it fixed. I'm glad it's working now. Sorry, I missed your call too. I saw your call. I was in the middle of, of chaos. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I don't even know how to get on a team. There's a lot of different teams. It depends. Um, there's different teams for different things. Like, for example, Moko, Moko Maid. Let me give them a shout out real quick. Here's my team right here. Um, Moko Maid is a Moko Loco team members. It's Derek and Devin. They are brothers and brother and sister. Uh, Derek does leather working and Dev does art. And they are like some of the most supportive people. Uh, they support everybody with games and everything, but they're very big supporters in like art and um, makers and crafters. Uh, more than anything, they're, they have the bigger community of that sense. Um, but they're like super supportive and they're just trying to grow, um, grow these communities into something bigger. And so I really connected with that because I am very much oriented here in makers and crafters. And that's what I love to do is all the crafts. <laughs> So for me, when I first found them and I loved how supportive and how much they're trying to grow like this spot that I find the most happiness in, I was like, this is where I want to be like a part of. I want to be a part of a team that's going to do that. So for me, that was my decision. But there's a lot of different, um, a lot of different stream teams. I know there's some that are just like certain types of games. There's the brick building community that does all the Legos. Um, so you just kind of got to go around into the communities and see, you know, take a peek at what, um, team they're on. If you look down where the streamer's name is and you'll see their, um, their teams, if they're on one, check out their team and it, it'll give you a list of everybody on that team as well. Um, when you click on that link and so you can check other people out and see if those are people you also want to be, um, with as well, but they all have different, um, What's the word? Different um, requirements. <laughs> they all have different requirements um, too. Some are more, some are less. Some are just like, hey, is this you? Is this your vibe? Cool, join the team. So it just depends. Yeah, yeah, check it out. Mocos, the mocos are amazing. The mocos are freaking amazing. I stand, yes. <laughs> I sit down. <laughs> I Satan them. I Satan them. <laughs> Deb just had her baby. She's been having her baby on stream the last two. And I'm just like, look at the little baby. He's so cute. He's so tiny. She was holding it. So it was nice to have them back. I got to raid them yesterday. Yesterday. It was our first stream back. But yeah, they're so, they're so good. The raid, the raid train was so fun. The raid train, you mean with, um, Yes, yes. I didn't I didn't know about that until like way late. <laughs> and then I was like at the very end and I saw a few people at the end of it. So I missed a lot of it. I missed a lot of that. My eyebrow hurts. I whipped myself at the end of my charging cord. Why would you do that? <laughs> Your face is there. <laughs> Why would you do that? I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay. That stuff hurts, yo. That stuff hurts. Ask me how I know. Except not with the charging cable, with a extension cord connected to the lawnmower that your husband whipped without realizing you were holding the other end. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, what time is it? I'm gonna stay for a few more minutes here. I'm out to bed. It was lovely. Same. Thank you so much. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful sleep. Count all the sheep. And hopefully I see you next time. Hopefully I see you next time. Next time. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, though. Thank you for coming in with the raid. I went shopping with a boy over the weekend, by the way. He was trying to buy flannels. And let me just say he liked hot in them. Let's go. Claire wants a lumberjack. I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. I'm not against it. I'm not against it. I was trying to pick it up and the kitten attacked me. <laughs> That's, is that the one you're keeping? I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I messed this up, didn't I? I did. I did, I'm one off. I messed up somewhere. One. One, two, let me just finish this round. One, one, two. 
when, when, oh, that was wrong, two, one, okay, it was right here, let me try this again, wait, 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 yes, yes, no, not a lumberjack, I like lean skinny boys, well, they are kind of lean, have you seen the lumberjack on TikTok? <laughs> you might change your mind, Claire. <laughs> Have you seen the lumberjack on TikTok? I don't know, you might change your mind. Everyone in Washington wears flannels. Oh, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. You're not wrong with that. You're not wrong with that. No, these are the foster kids. Oh, the foster kittens. Oh, I have? Yes. Yes, Cookie. Yes, Bradley. See, we all know. When you say the lumberjack on TikTok, we all know. <laughs> we all know who we're talking about. <laughs> His name is Thor. They call him Thor, too. His name is Thor. It's like Thor. Thorin? Thorn? Thorn? They call him Thorn. Thor. <laughs> Think of like a hiccup from how to train your dragon or Flynn Rider or Flynn Rider. That's the vibe. Well, Claire, this is time to like change it up. Remember, we talked about this. Try all the flavors. <laughs> Try all the flavors. <laughs> Forgot how frustrating algebra is. Had to help my boyfriend's little sister. Oh, that's terrible. I am not looking forward to teaching anybody math. I don't think I'm in any position to teach people math, to be honest. <laughs> Cookie typed it before I could. People are thirsty for it, sure. <laughs> hey, he's been doing a lot more naughtier ones, though, too, to be honest. Hold on, I'm messing up. You, you're all distracting me with the Bradley chat. <laughs> Shining axe swinging. All right, this is two right here. I think. Fine with anything besides algebra and calculus. Do you like geometry? I don't like geometry either. Which funny enough, geometry is so essential to like crafting. <laughs> Unfortunately. The flavors of Washington. That is too funny. That's too funny, Claire. I'm fine with anything besides. Wait, I saw that. Everyone smells like weed, and the part I'm, I'm in. They all think that they are cool for it. Ah, that's the worst, Claire. That's the worst. That's true. You're not wrong about that either. I love geometry and trig. Yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't buy it. I mean, being decent people. Yeah, I get it. That's crazy. All right, I finished my round here. I guess I'll do one more, okay? We're going to try for one more, and then we will also head out. Single and then two. Single and then ready to mingle. That's basically what we're doing right now. <laughs> Single, ready to mingle. You're never gonna unhear this stitch ever again. Single, ready to mingle. Ew, mass. <laughs> if I understand math, I enjoy it. You know what? Aaron, that's same. If I understood math, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy it, especially with um, algebra. I Once I started to like figure it out, I was actually having fun with it. But the thing was is that they were just moving too quickly for me. So by the time I was figuring it out, like they were already moving on. But I'll enjoy it if I understand it. I also did a lot of sewing at one point and that had a lot of math in it. Like I said, there's a lot of geometry too, but um, 
A lot of fractions, which were not fun. All right, there's an ad gonna go off real quick in a minute. Let me just run it real quick so we can get it out of the way and then I don't have to worry about it. So give me a minute and a half here for them to run and I'll be right back. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna let that go. Otherwise I'm gonna be like snoozing it for forever. It's two. One. Two. Fractions make me angry. I hate fractions, but I had to do it a lot when I was sewing because it was like one third and like, you know, half a yard and such and such and such. So I had to use it a lot. Did I get this right? This is the moment of truth right here. I did! I got it right! Let's freaking go! I can count on stream. <laughs> I can count on stream, all you non-believers out there. <laughs> Who I may or may not have proved myself wrong many a time with. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, that's coming back. Starting to think I need to wait until the guy starts to mellow and learn how to be adults. Yeah, but when you're just having fun, they don't have to be an adult. They just got to be interesting. So it's in here. <laughs> some would argue that, Claire. Honestly, some would argue that. I'm allowed to think someone's attractive without wanting to date. Yes, of course. Of freaking course. Yes, definitely, Claire. Definitely. Math isn't passively learned. It's just a language like any other. Numbers and symbols represent ideas. Don't don't listen to Doc. Doc's a math, Doc's a math nerd. <laughs> Doc enjoys it all. I do all the crafts and loathe all the math. Exactly. Shibi does sheet math and that only rarely coincides with actual math. <laughs> no sheet math this time. Let's freaking go. Synergy. Synergy. <laughs> they aren't even interesting though. It's okay. They don't have to be. They kind of have to just catch the moment, you know? Stay in the moment and then you let them go. You let them free. My husband is about to be 51. Is it an adult? Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, let me see who's on. Let me see who's on. Let me see who's on. We're gonna send, we're gonna try and find someone we can send this, this uh, chaos to. Hold please. <laughs> Hold please. Holy cow. Let me go to my list. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're gonna show some love today. They're doing art. I think we just saw them, but honestly, we didn't, I caught them at the very end. So I think this will be worth it. They're doing art today. They're drawing a dog. They're drawing a realistic dog. And being that I have a lot of uh, Mocha Locos and artists here right now, I think this is gonna be perfect. So we're gonna go back to Krusty like I said, last time we saw him the other day, it was at the very end of the charity stream that he was doing. So we're going to go send some love. Hopefully they'll be on a little longer today. But that's where we're going to go. Let's go send some love over there. And plus, I think I don't have my numbers on, so I can't see. But I think I have a great little, little exciting boost me up with me right now. So we're going to go send some love 
um, being that they have a couple, only a couple with friends with them right now. There we go. Look at this art. Thank you so much, he. I just want to say. <laughs> Hi, Gabs! Hello, Gabs! A doll, I just mean they kind of have half an idea of what they... Oh, they don't know anything, Claire. <laughs> they don't know anything, Claire. Baby face himself. Just glad I didn't miss the VIP point. Let's freaking go, Kiros! Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you so freaking much, yo, to all the, the beautiful raids today. <laughs> The new friends, the bits, the resubs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I super... I'm gonna go cry after this. <laughs> Don't judge me. All right. Um, no, get out of here, Kiros. I will refund you. I will refund you. But well, we're gonna go see Krusty. Uh, like I said, they're doing art today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow night, same time, 8.30 p.m. Central to 11.30 p.m. Um, I will be doing probably diamond painting because I do, like I said, want to get it done. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, good night. If I don't see you, have a wonderful rest of your week. Have a wonderful rest of your week. I see you all. I see you all. <laughs> good night. Bye. See you soon. <laughs>